Hello and welcome. We are about to get kicked off with Guildhouse Fighters 143. Today up in the announcer booth with a different hat is Doki Doki FTR and my partner in crime today. It's me guys, it's Squabble Thorn. We're here for a really good 143 today. We have a good turnout tonight. We're looking for a really good day today, guys. Oh yeah, 35 entries, us excluded. We decided to be up here. We're devoting ourselves full time to bringing you the greatest, most insane commentary we can possibly provide. And no, I did not lose my hat. I'm just switching it up. It's football season, gotta represent. What can I say? <laughs> hey man, it's gonna be. It's and, gonna be a great and before time. we get some Raiders fans in chat, they're just gonna flame me for the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, but did you lose the Carolina? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> Not yet. Hey but man. you know, there's still time. Oh, you can't tell what team it is. This is Denver Broncos. That's also the reason I'm going with all black because from a distance, I don't gotta worry about people trying to catcall me from across the street. Like hey, like yeah, it's the Broncos. It's like you're in California. You're in California. Why isn't that a Niners hat? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why I want the all black because, you know, it's there. I still got the team, you know, team represent. But at the same point, I also don't have people flaming me from yeah. across the street. And plus, it goes with every outfit. Exactly. Someone outfit. gets it. You can never go wrong. You can never go wrong. You, you can never go wrong with a black hat. It just, it works. It works. Exactly. It looks gorgeous. What can I say? Keeps my hair out of my face. I don't have to worry about eating my hair on the stream. <laughs> Niners fans are mostly bandwagoners. I believe that if they're not in the Bay Area, yeah. the ones in the Bay Area, they, they're born and they're born and raised that way. I, I have, I'm not gonna call them bandwagoners from the Bay Area. That's that's how they're born. They were born, they were born gold blooded, brother. For sure, hundred percent. So we got that's a looks like that's mix up city just patiently waiting for his his opponent. He's waiting. Checking his phone, checking the strats, checking his messages, seeing who's trying to slide into his DMs tonight. Let's see. I'm well, I'm wondering how many people are gonna be playing Terry tonight. If if anyone is gonna be playing Ooh. Terry, there may be someone that brings it like an old school Terry player that brings it up as kind of a flex pick for the fun of it. But I don't really think we're gonna see him this early. Next week we'll probably see one. Next week we'll see an early adopter trying to take advantage of the yeah. whole like no one's used to seeing them yet. Yep. But I don't think we're gonna see him. Tonight. I don't think anyone's had enough time to really lab it, especially because it just came out Tuesday. True. Very true. But I don't, I don't want person that probably he really, he told me down there he's gonna pull out Terry tonight. He's oh. like Agent Bandicoot. He's gonna pull if he, if, 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 if he gets on main stage. He's gonna pull out Terry, depending how it goes tonight. If, if it goes good tonight, he'll do Terry. If it goes bad, he'll go back to his main. He'll go back to he'll go back to his roots of Akuma. Ooh. But I'm excited. He's already like Diamond Four in Terry. Thing is, I I always have a hard time gauging that because yeah, it's like oh already Diamond Four, but like how much of that is because. You really go with the character. How much of it is because your opponent has no clue what to do with you yet? That is true. Like I say, from what I've seen, like it was on. He was on there for like what four or five hours. So good. good he had a good grind in. But I'm not. I'm not saying he's not good. I'm oh, just saying yeah, how no. much. How much of the, the rapid climb is like? Oh, you're just. You're playing a character no one knows what to do with yet. Yeah. We don't know what to do with. Here we go. We don't have to worry about that now. But you do have to worry about the command throw because that's of course one of the mix-up city specials. Every time he comes in, you got to worry about that every single time. Oh, the perfect parry by something. And he sure is something. He's been working on those parries. Oh. Now Louis in the oh. corner. Misses the throw, though. Oh. Mix up. Yeah, mix up City. Get himself out of the corner. Pushing uh, something back. That's impressive because Lily does not have a lot of options in the corner. But Mix up City is one of the best areas at fighting out of the corner. Oh, Can't man. jump that close to Lily. No, that overhead is brutal for anyone that gets airborne. Good punish counter. Oh, now he's in but burnout. But burnout is not where you want to be at this stage of the game, especially with that little health. Yeah, right, but now he has nothing to lose. He's just he's go go it and go all in. Or I'm waiting to see if he's in. Oh, oh, goes in. Oh. <laughs> Burn to level two. Doesn't quite in the fight, but it does gonna get him most of the way out of burnout, which is always good. Gets out of burnout. Oh, oh, the DI check is not gonna save him. Oh. The health was too low. Oh man, that was that, that was calculated. Nuts. That was a calculated move. You gotta respect it. If your health is too low, DI will not save you. Something going on in the defensive, putting Lily in the corner. Really able to fight herself off, keep the pressure off a little bit. Oh, and the command, command right throw. Now. Nice. Another oh, condor spire. Woo! Oh man, <laughs> hits him again. 
How would you like a condor spire? How about we just mix it up? Mix up City knows how to put the blender on his lily, and that's oh, all. Yeah, it's he so, does. It's so infuriating to play against, but it's so fun to watch when you're not against it. Yeah, as long, basically, anyone else but you, right? In a sense. Pretty much. Oh, nice play, WFP. You, know, you got to respect what Lily's able to do. You got to respect the come in. You got to respect the after that they're plus. Yeah. They can still keep putting the pressure on you. It's just. They have so many ways to continue their strength and to mix you oh. up. I guess you could say you're in Mix Up City. Yeah. <laughs> what can I say? I got to plug it in. Good drive reversal. Not so good burning yourself oh, out. Oh, Oh, man. Just gonna, that's going to finish that one. Yeah. That's putting Mix Up City on set point. Something needs to come up with something in order to get himself back in the game. Yup. Nice, perfect parry by Mix Up City. Oh. <laughs> you gotta respect the reach. Her arms are tiny, the bats are not. Oh, man. Oh. Spacing. Oh, Ooh, that's gonna be good. That's a nice cross-up. A nice patience by something, man. Gets the cross up. Now he's gonna put the put the whole Oki on him. Strike throw mix is putting in some serious work right now. Ooh. Now see here, this is dangerous. One hit's gonna do it. Oh, not oh. quite. Drops the combo. Oh. Oh, drops it. We're seeing, oh, the we're seeing the drops, the parry, the command throw that, that will, puts it away. That'll do it. Something thought he saw a window, but the window shut on his fingers. <laughs> Mix, up, Mix up City feeling a little hot tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, he's off to a very fiery start. Yeah. But that's the trick about Mix Up City. He's playing a character that most of us don't get to play against regularly. So it's, it's a Lily. I mean, she's been in there since launch. Yep. But I'm pretty sure most of us can count on one hand how many Lilies we've actually seen in ranked. Yeah, I've seen like maybe three. I got four. <laughs> makes we, do, we don't see them very often, so it's it's like, oh, what ha it's a lily, what do I do? But the funny part is I got so used to playing Mix Up City here at Guildhouse and at YouthNet and you know all the all the uh, game stops around here. And uh, the few times I have faced Lily online, it's been like, oh, okay, you're a lily, goodbye. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just like, oh, well, you're a lily, that's nice, goodbye. You're not Mix-Up City! How dare you play who he plays! <laughs> I agree. It's like for some, of the, some of the lilies that you, like, you do see online, it's like it's like one of two. It's like one, it's like they have their combos down. Or two. Condor Spire! Yeah, Condor Spire! Yeah, Condor Spire! Like Condor, Condor <laughs> Spire the whole way through. Yep, Frank Lotion is in the bracket. I did see him earlier. Yeah. I got to face him when he first came here at King's Cup. That was... I got wrecked. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. The surprise Honda. It's like, oh, no one expects the Honda Inquisition. He plays Honda? Yeah. So we have two Honda players here tonight? Yeah. The difference is, uh, if I remember correctly, Frank Lotion plays a modern Honda. Oh, he plays modern Honda. Yep, and gave me hell. All oh, right, <laughs> damn. And then we got and we got Tree Wiz. I want to I actually, I want to I wanna see those two things out. I want to see the Honda mirror. You know, I actually want to see that, too, because you know, that's something you don't see every day. You do. Like, you never see the Honda Mirror because there's not enough Hondas to go around. And, I, and like how you said before, we could probably count how many times we fought a Honda in ranked. I've fought in one. No, I've, I've actually fought a few. Yeah? No, because I, when I was going through Diamond, there's all the Hondas that get, that were get, especially in Season 1, there was all the Diamonds that got, the Hondas that got there for the butt slam, headbutt yep. shenanigans. So I faced a lot of them going through Diamond. Okay. And every time it's like, you're not Tree Wiz. <laughs> you ain't Tree Wiz. Get out of here. <laughs> you ain't Tree Wiz, you ain't Beer Wiz, you ain't Troll Wiz, you ain't none of them. There's Tequila Wiz? Jeez, there's a Tequila Wiz. How many Wizzes do we got? Am I just missing just the Tree Wiz lore? There, there's so much lore. Oh, okay, yeah, I've only been here for like a few months. There, so there, there, is a lot as of lore. there is as much lore for Tree Wiz as there are rings in the trunk of a tree. <laughs> That's how Tree Wiz grows. It's it's not years of age. It's rumors and stuff that, that adds to his lore. That's how he gets more rings. Oh, man. Uh, oh, the shenanigans. A, is, that, is that Chump Slayer wearing that yellow shirt? That's a nice shirt. Is that are those, are those cats on his shirt? I think, there? I think that is cats. I think that is indeed cats. That's, that's a nice shirt. 
That's a very nice shirt. Is it, it is about as easy to spot in a crowd as my beanie is. <laughs> It's like also like that and like how like you usually spot Captain No Fun because he always wears like shirts like how what Trump shirts oh, wearing. Yeah. But it's like you know, like it's like more of a better like you like get the vibe is like yeah like he's hella chill you know. Oh yeah. No, I, I still I give him so much hell because that's the most ironic nickname ever, Captain No Fun. When he's like the most fun person to be around. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, like when I first started when I first started doing commentary, like he like helped me like and like gave me like pointers and everything. And he like even like said like how like he say he's kept No Fun, but he's like the most like energetic guy out there. Oh, for sure. I've known him for about nine years. Oh, really? He's actually the reason I started competing in Street Fighter. Oh, nice. I picked up the game because me and a bunch of friends were like, ah, we'll start playing. And then I was like, I got a silver. I'm like, hey, we're pretty good at the game. At the time, he was platinum three. He teach me some pointers, and that's when he started teaching me pointers. And the first thing he taught me was the concept of Oki, mm. particularly since I play DJ Driver's Throw. Yeah. So where my name comes from is because Oki was the first part of the game I kind of seized on. So the reason you see the little lowercase D's capital Oki is because it's Oki Oki. Oh. Yeah, because I put the Oki Oki in the Doki Doki and turn the match around. There you go, baby. <laughs> How many music jokes can I squeeze into one name before someone slaps me? Nice. <laughs> that's good, man. I, hey, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. No, me and him, I've known, like I said, I've known him for nine years. When I started playing this game, he's like, he gave me pointers to get me started. And then I started shooting up through the ranks. And he's like, oh, I got to get, be get better so I can keep giving this guy tips. And then yeah. he got to master. And then quite a long time afterwards, I eventually got to master. And I started uh, competing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, no, up CWF Network. Uh, I have a feeling that's... <laughs> That's an alias for Mr. Captain No Fun, because that, because yeah, he did suggest he originally suggested Oki Pokey, but I, I couldn't, I couldn't take myself even remotely seriously with Oki Pokey, so that's why I went with Doki Doki. Dude, Oki Pokey, Doki Doki, like, dude, it's like, and they, they both work. But I went with Doki Doki because lowercase D's also look like musical notes. Oh, true, yeah. Again, I was trying to see how many jokes can I squeeze into one name before someone smacks me. I get you. <laughs> But it looks like our two competitors are getting set up. I think they're just about ready to go. Yeah. Because I'm seeing a solid snake, and I'm curious if he's gonna if he's gonna play Ken or if he's gonna play the original the uh, our resident snake lady herself, Aki. And I am absolutely drawing a blank right now on the other player. I feel like I should know this. Stealth Ninja. Stealth Ninja. There we go. Okay. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've seen Stealth Ninja play. Have I? Have, have we? You, you probably I think, have. I think I I've seen it before because I think I, I recognize the. The funny thing is, I recognize the controller. <laughs> Which one, left or right? No, S Snake. I knew okay. Stealth Ninja. I I only seen him a couple times. I recognize the controller because it's kind of a, it's a cool controller. Yeah. Okay. But he's another DJ player. That's that's how. I, I was like, I know, I know, I've seen this guy before. DJ. That's why. But this is gonna be fun because Snake runs a lot of sets against me, and I'm a DJ main, so he knows the DJ and Aki matchup really well. Okay. The question is, does Stealth Ninja know the DJ Aki matchup? Let's see. Nice, nice grab for some early poison. Oh, yeah. Gotta respect it. Oh, There's... Nice. That's gonna be fun. Good corner carry on that. Oh, the fake out. Oh. Good way to dodge there, because he's he's probably... Wait, he was waiting for that. He was waiting for him to jump, to jump it to hit him. Okay. Gotta respect the combo. Oh, nice. nice reversal. As the one downside of a back heavy kick, it is very close hitting. Good block. Oh, good exchange. Good, very good. The trick with Aki is a lot of her stuff hits weird. Yeah. Like that. Yep. Which is why I never start with a fireball against Aki. <laughs> it's like how like, she slithers on her back and like kind of get past you on that. It's like it throws you off. A bigger issue with that is the fact she goes under DI. She does? Yes, it'll actually go under DI. Oh my god. I found that one out the hard way. Yeah? Oh man. You've got to respect those kicks. And this is going to be a huge combo. That's level three. This ain't going to kill, but it's going to hurt. My Magnum Opus! <laughs> That sting. No, oh, it felt nice. like sunshine daisies. <laughs> Burn. Oh, drop the combo. I know he was going for, but that was not it. Let's see. What, let's see what's going on now. Let's see, let's see if Snake can close it out. Let's see. This is a matchup where it's almost 
dangerous as DJ to go on the aggressive on the aggressive part because she has so many ways to check you. Yeah. Like I said, she hits weird. Like she has a lot of like very unique skill sets for like from like many anti airs and a lot of range attacks that can just throw you off your game. Oh yeah, no, she's got a lot of weird tricks to her. If you don't know the ranges or don't know the timings, it just messes you up. Especially as DJ is a character who really needs to get their rhythm going. Yeah. Good bait. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Got caught pushing a button in the in the uh, poison cloud. I didn't know you could pop the bubble with, with an attack. Yeah, that. that is one of her her tricks. Is she can actually pop the bubble, which is what she can do if you're trying to jump it. Oh, like almost like like a ranged anti air in a sense. The downside is it's missed time. You can punish them because obviously the chain is punishable. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. That's oh. a big. Oh, drops nice the combo. Block. Nice grab. Excellent use of sway. Oh, whip. Oh, doesn't quite get the punish on the throw. What makes up for it? Wake up EXDP. As DJ, gotta be careful with that. I think it's so punishable, especially if you miss it. Oh. Nice. nice. Takes a round back. Of course, Snake is still playing for the win. Stealth Ninja can't afford to give up this round. They both have level three in the, in the disposal, so it's. it's, it's Good grab. I'm getting ahead of myself. I've had too much ripple. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Snake got Ninja back in the corner. Oh. Good neutral jump and a throw. Ninja got himself out of it. Nice. But Snake responding, but it's. Yeah, they're responding back to her pretty quickly right now. Oh. A little late on that response. That should have checked. Oh. Nice. Did a great job checking these moves. Oh. That's going to do it. That, that was an excellent chain right there. From the punish counter, gets. gets the heavy soul bot links to level three. That's going to secure the game. That's going to take us to game three. All right, here we go. DJ wins. And that is a tricky transition because you have to switch directions. Oh, really? Yes, because the soul bot is, fo is a quarter circle forward. The heavy is double quarter circle back. Oh, you're basically almost doing a full circle at that point. That's yeah, so you got to go forward and back, back. It's like. Zip. It's, it's occasionally tricky. There are tricks for it, but it's still deceptively easy to screw up. Yeah. <laughs> As anyone who's watching play and drop that combo in the corner can just test. Oh. Ooh. The bubble, the bubble Burn, survived that. Burned out, though. Burned out against Aki is the worst place to be because they can just make your life hell. Yep. Because they can just keep hitting. Just keep swinging. All I got to do is that. And guess what? Yeah. Do it again. Yeah. <laughs> Aki is one of the worst characters to burn out against. They do have they have so many combos they can use to just punish you for having audacity to burn out. I feel like Aki like from like when you're in burnout, Aki just seems like she's a lot faster. Like she's a pretty quick character, but like just like her moveset is it, it's unpredictable. Oh well, for sure. Well the other trick is also as DJ, we have some of the hardest time when we're burned out. Yeah. So us burned out. Us being particularly bad in burnout, plus Aki being particularly good when you're burned out, is just a recipe for a bad time. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, nice. Oh, catch now with the, with the EX on that one. Not sure if it's going to kill, though. No, I don't think it does. Uh, nope, no, not quite. Doesn't. Oh. Both in burnout. Ooh, okay. catches it on the cross up. There we go, final round. Dang, they're making this fun. The thing is, Aki does have the level three advantage. Gonna spend it? No, not gonna spend it yet. Gonna keep pushing the corner. Okay. Lands one, if, if Aki lands one more combo, then he's level three. Oh, one more combo will do it. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh, not sure if this range will hit it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna throw out the level three, but I don't think it's gonna kill from this range. No, I won't. I don't think it will. It's pretty low. Oh, Ooh, the perfect, perfect carry. carry. There is life yet. Oh, back in the corner with you. Oh, good check on that one. Oh, the high kick. The pump fake. Oh, oh, the whip. Oh, the, the whip, whip throw. Dang. What a way to go. But that was an intense fight. That was that was great on all counts. They both. But like I said, the trick with Aki is they're so 
they're so crazy with the way they attack. And every single Aki player we have here plays so differently and distinctly with what sort of tricks they use. It's it's like you're playing a completely different character when you're playing between them. Yeah. Granted, I can say the same for our DJs. Yeah. Because we have Stealth Ninja, Lateralis, myself. It, it gets nuts trying to play... Because there's so many different ways to play these characters. And that's what makes this game so fun. Because exactly. you can play the same character played by 10 different people and all 10 of them are going to have a different flavor. Exactly. It's it, just, it's, it's insane. But then again, like we learned, you do have to respect Aki, especially if you are burned out. Because yeah. once she starts swinging, you don't have a way out. Yeah, exactly. Unless you have, unless you can do a super reversal, that's basically your only way out. And as DJ players all know, our level one is terrible as a is, is not usable as a reversal. Is it, isn't the level one just, just, a, just a high kick? It's a, it's a Sobat. It does have crumple stuff. But the thing is, it has no invulnerability frames. So as a reversal, it is useless. Ah, okay. So that leaves level they're using a level two as a rhythm game or a level three. Okay. But unfortunately, in a lot of situations, all you have is a level one. And I, you can just sit there and just watch yourself get chipped away because uh, here comes Aki. Oh man. Yeah, because like looking at like 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 watching this match, it's like like from seeing like how DJ has like his like his fake outs like from like from the kicks and actually and from his fireball and everything. Like and seeing how like Aki has like from her like special jumps like her lunging forward and even from like her slither down as like I like to call it but like it's very different like these two characters are very unique in their own ways and the, the matchup against each other it's like it's kind of like water and oil in a sense like they're complete oh, it, opposites it's exa it's complete insanity I love it <laughs> <laughs> that's the reason I keep running it back against Snake when we're when we're uh, playing uh, offline nice. or online but playing cat you know custom rooms yep it's just it's a fun matchup. Unless you're getting juggled into oblivion, but you yeah. know, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's EJ's turn, sometimes it's Zaki's turn. Exactly. Hey man, sometimes you just gotta get juggled. Sometimes, like, hey, hey, my yep. time here. Like, I probably about eighty percent of my gameplay, like, of my casual games with these guys, it's just me getting juggled. Wait, is that who I think it is? I think we're gonna see another Aki. Yeah. Yep, that is Hayo, and he plays an Aki. I've played against Hayo as well. I'm sorry again if I'm butchering the name. I've only read it. I've actually never thought to ask how to pronounce it. And that's DJ Norb. Oh. Oh, yeah, Norb. We're going to see the modern difference. <laughs> modern problems require modern solutions. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see fun, how this goes. Fun little story. I actually met Norb like a few months back, like before I got into Street Fighter tournaments. Oh, nice. I came here on a for a Tekken tournament. Like, it was like one of like, it was like back in like April. Okay. And I came here for a Tekken tournament. Kicked the. <laughs> Kick my butt. I, I was playing yeah, no, King. He, he, play, he, he plays, plays a good both. Victor. He plays a good Victor. Back when he was playing, like, I got my Man, butt kicked. He plays both games. That's kind of the fun part because if he loses at one, he can say, oh, it's okay. I'm not a Street Fighter player. I'm a Tekken player. Or he loses a Tekken. I'm not a Tekken player. I'm a Street Fighter player. Yeah. He's always got the, he got, always got the excuse in the back pocket. But yeah, with the way Nord plays, though, I mean, you got to respect him in either game. He's just, he's a top level competitor. Yeah. He's a, cool, he's a nice guy. Oh, yeah. And Hayo, like I said, he's he's a very good Aki player. And you're going to see a different flavor of Aki because the way he plays Aki versus how Solid Snake plays Aki are very different things. Okay. And I have experienced both firsthand multiple times. I've, oh, I've, oh we, we, have a, we have a Norb fan in the chat. Meisaku, my modern king. My modern <laughs> king. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't played against Norb in Street Fighter yet, and I, I'm kind of scared to because if, if it's the same thing as he plays in Tekken, it's terrifying. It's Oh, nice wake up. Oh, here we go. Yep, th this is what happens when you play Norb, especially when he's playing on the cami. He's got so many of the mix-ups, but did burn out early in the match. We're not even 15 seconds in, it was burned out. But does not Two. care. Two. You're going to have to deal with the strike throws. Oh. And especially with cami, there's so many strike throw options. That is true. So many options. It's like you're playing a 50-50 guessing game, and every answer is wrong. Oh. That's a good way to start. See, oh, nice wake like up. We just saw there, a completely different combo than anything we saw from Snake. Yeah. Ooh, bad time to throw out the whip. Gets the reversal. This is where you want to be. This is where you want to Oh, excellent. Tested the modern reactions that came out ahead this time. Ooh, are they going to spin super? Nope. Just going to go for the reverse. Nice, excellent. That takes guts, especially not to catch out there against Modern Difference, because that level three could come out at any time. Yeah. It is on one button. The, the launch button is one button. <laughs> oh. Great combo. Oh, great grab Ooh. by Norb. That's an interaction I don't, I don't see very much. This is going to hurt. 
Oh, that's level three. three. Like I said, different flavors. You're seeing completely yeah. different combos from one from the other. It's going to be dangerous if they get together and compare notes. <laughs> Make a book. Make a book out of their com uh, for their combos and for Aki. Yeah, oh, call, a, call the book Toxicity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, level three. Did he push it? Oh, oh yeah. what? The, bub the fireball. Oh, because the bubble lingers. I didn't realize that would happen. I thought for sure that level three was going to pass through it, but I guess it ca caught the enemy vulnerability frames. You have to run that one back and take another look. But won't quite make the difference up there. That was unexpected. I don't take another look at that because I didn't. I thought the, I thought for sure level three was going to hit the bubble. Yeah. So I, yeah, I didn't think fire. I didn't think fireball. The bubble would actually take damage or like do damage. Like it's like kind of like any like, like any kind of fireball, but I guess it does. I don't know, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to run that back in the replays later. Ooh, oh. good escape. Nice parry of the back of the wall. Oh, now he's down over the burnout. He hates the DP. He does not want to be in this place right now. Oh, oh drops, drops the, the combo. combo. Oh, that's fine. Chip, dam oh, okay. chip damage would work, but hey, going to catch a push of buttons anyway. Okay. <laughs> the crowd's loving it. The Norb feel Norb feels. Hylos has got fans, man. Yeah. Norb is feeling the energy. He's feeling like, oh, man, I got to do this. Like, Hayo has fans. I, I saw it when I had a plan against him, too. He had fans in the chat cheering for him. I have no fans cheering for me. I was like, I, I feel so unknown. Oh, <laughs> uh, good, good way to put Naki in the corner. Here we go. Oh, what a whiff. Keeping him back, keeping him in the corner. Norb is, Norb means business right now. Oh. Ooh, good check on that. Buffering, buffering. Oh, That's dangerous. Whiff. Catch him with level one. Doesn't quite oh, burn out go. though. <laughs> That's what's dangerous though. You burn the level one, so now you only have a level one. You could have been almost at a level three, but now you only have the level one. Yeah. Against a Kami with a with a one button push to start super. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh. Oh, I was waiting for it that time. Fool me twice, shame on you. Fool me three times, no. You're gonna catch my level three now. That's gonna be. At least the crowd side. is the crowd is devastated. Nor Norb heard the crowd cheer when Hyo won, and Norb's like, you know what? I mean business now. <laughs> Look at True is like, yeah, True was, True was getting this to my boy. True was getting after you did him. this to my boy. <laughs> Look at how they massacred my boy. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. That was that was a, that was a good set. That was a no, nice that, set. That was that was an awesome set. Got to respect the Aki, and you got to respect the, mo the modern reactions. Hey, man. I tried it when I first started playing Street Fighter. I tried playing modern. I thought it was great because I play on controller, and then I got then I got a stick, and I'm like, I have to go. I have to go classic. Yeah, no, I I I tried modern for about just long enough to figure out how to change it in the tutorial and switch classic. Yeah. Modern didn't make sense to me. I I I don't know how he does it because modern makes no sense to me. It made sense to me like when I first started. Cause I haven't played a Street Fighter since like Street Fighter Four, and like that was like like a long time ago but it's it's different like only things the only character i can play modern is modern geef only one i can play i can only play modern that's fair yeah fist of fury yeah norm is moderning up the place as usual yeah. we have the usual modern problem <laughs> he's putting he's putting up his m's he put up m's for modern Ugh. and he's not m for mini it's m for modern uh while coming down off that modern difference. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but no, that was man. a great fight because now we've seen two back-to-back -back chances to see something that not a lot of people get to see. Aki is still kind of a unique character. Yeah. And we have, I mean, we've all heard the, Aki is cool! But, you know, it's still not something that a lot of people have picked up. Yeah. But yet we have two very skilled Aki players here, which is why if you want to get a depth of experience, you come to Guildhouse because you will run into someone representing everybody. Exactly.
you'll, you'll find, like I said, every like every, every different flavor. Like it'd be from a from modern Aki to a couple people in classic Aki with two different completely match uh, fight sets, different combos, different strings. It's a whole different world. Yeah, and you can get your butt kicked by three different flavors of Kimberly. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about pink? I'm talking about pink, Quicksilver, and uh, YJK. Uh. <laughs> There's three of them. Uh, All three like of them. <laughs> will make and you regret your decisions. And it was funny. I was during casual. I saw there's like four Ken players. I'm like, when I'm when I'm playing, there's only two. There's, there's like four tonight. Well, there's there, there's always been quite a few Kens. You get Kens, you get Rios. You, you know, you have the usual suspects that pretty much every tournament has these people playing it. Yeah. And then you have some of these obscure characters. I think the only person that we don't have someone maining, I think, is Blanca. And what about JP? Uh, Master Sifu. Okay. Mr. Sifu plays JP. Uh, also, Julio Fuentes, when he's here, plays JP. We do have some JP players. I okay. think I think um I'm trying to remember another one. Premium Snack also plays a JP. Oh, he does? Yes. Oh. He also has a Blanca too. Okay. I face both of those. Fun. <laughs> you seem like you just got you just got a, like a lot of just like trauma in the back of your mind from all I, this. Okay, let's put it this way. When I first started competing, I was Diamond 1. <laughs> I'm Diamond 1. I was Diamond 1. I was like, "Oh, let's let's try some locals, see how it goes." Mm. Yeah, you can imagine how well that went. Yeah. I based yeah, it was mm. I basically spent two months getting, you know, tore up one side and down the other. And then, oh, I haven't seen a Manon. That is true. We did have Manons before. One of them unfortunately moved. The other one, James, I'm not sure where he's at now. Don't know. But we have, we did have a couple Manons. Uh, one of them doesn't show up very often. The other one I know moved out of the area, so it doesn't come out as often anymore. We do need more Manons. That that does that that is true. We need to find some Manon players. Yeah. We need to drag. We need to find some Manon players and uh, drag them out. Drag them out here. I thought I say drag them off like wrong game, man. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I barely know. I barely know Tekken. I know Tekken enough to know that I can mash buttons and get away with a lot more in Tekken than I can in Street Fighter. Exactly. <laughs> now, here we go. Jerry yeah. and Ken. Yeah. The only thing I know about about Tekken is Tiana's to cafe. <laughs> 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 Damn it! <laughs> I, I laugh, but I love you to get trauma. <laughs> Speaking of trauma, we're gonna have the million-dollar character jury playing the OG Ken. We got Mario oh, versus JT. Another and Ken's already in burnout. And we got a lot of people here that are not afraid of burning out. They are completely unafraid of the, the uh, gray out screen. But against a jury, that is a. Uh, Oh. That may be a death sentence. It it's might hurt. Be. Yep. That's gonna be that's gonna be it. Yeah, that's, yep. that's, that's the first round. Yeah, burnout against a jury, it's just you're at, you're asking for the round to be over. Oh, especially if they have a level two, but in this case it's like, nah, I'm just gonna pop 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 pop. Exactly. Ooh. JC playing a lot slower this time, respecting the jury. Still gets caught in that little pinwheel. Ooh. Nice. Dang, this relentless offensive. It's like, when's it going to be my turn? And there we go. Now we got Ken going in for it. Oh, try to do a fake out. Yeah, neutral jumps against Jury are very dangerous. Oh, that's a pause. Good grab. Punish the blueberry. Good break. Ooh. <laughs> Checks the foot. And, that's and now you're going to feel the agony of defeat. You're going, he's, going, he's going to the chiropractor. Here we go. Yep. Pretty low ski, though. I kind of wish I can crack my back that much. Yeah? I feel like I would gain like two inches in height. Hey, man. Chiropractor changed your life forever, man. Oh. Yeah, the question is for the better or for worse. That's that's uh, that's up to your interpretation. But in Ken's case, from that last round, it was for the worst. Oh, for sure. Oh. Nah, you get to stay in the corner. Drew says, "Nah, this is your home now." Hits him again. Just yeah, you're just gonna stay there. Enjoy staying in the corner. Oh, nice icebreaker. Oh, good exchange. Ooh. Death by a thousand cuts gonna keep poking him until he cracks. Ooh! The oh. pinwheel hits nothing. 
but so does the uh, spin kick. And they're both treating us like Beyblade, letting these things rip. Exactly, man. Oh, man. Spin to win. Spin to win. One spins vertically, one spins horizontally. <laughs> Those old Rubik's 360s. Boom. And burned out again. We're nine, fifteen 15 seconds in, we're burned out again. Ooh, this is a jump, man. Ooh. Nice breaker, but nice, nice anti air. It's gonna hurt. Oh, a little whiff. Another block, but Jury get back, right back into it. That's gonna That's do a, it. Yeah, it's gonna do it. That, that was a big whiff. Yep. We're gonna put a cap on it with another level three. Another trip to the chiropractor. Spinal adjustment. Oh, man. And a floor facial. <laughs> Yet. No one ever gives you a coupon to Jury Spa. I'd suggest you turn it down immediately because that is not a spa day. That is a death sentence. Exactly. <laughs> it probably is, it's not even a coupon. It's probably just like on like a napkin. It's just like. No, the coupons are legit. You got to like bait them in. Yeah. You got to bait them in. It's like, ah, oh, it's a spa day. Jury Spa day. Do, do, do you think Jury would actually like, get like, actual coupons or do you think uh, Jury will put it on a, on a fishing line and just like actually reel someone in? I don't think she would be that covert about. She would basically slap you in the face with it, throw you, over, throw you on the back of her bike, and ride off with you. <laughs> That's that. Yeah, it seems like jury. I mean, it's basically happened in the story mode to uh, to Bosch. Basically, it's oh. like, hey, you're coming with me. <laughs> Just <laughs> eat on the back of the bike, rides off. Oh man. <laughs> uh, look at this. We got uh, Tree Wiz. Ooh, and Cool Whip. And Cool. Oh, he's oh he's doing it again. Yeah, he's staring at my soul. He told me he was gonna do this. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, he knows. Uh, he knows. He knows I'm here. He knows I'm hiding. <laughs> makes it, makes Classic. It, it'll make it even worse if he does that and then he just turns around and looks at the window and he sees us react. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to figure out which. which <laughs> oh, this is the content we play for. This is what, you're right, this is what, we, this is what we live for. We're here this, for. This is why we're here. Samson saying the Whizzler. Oh no. The Whizzler. See, the thing is, I had to have that explained to me because I didn't get the joke. What? I never understood what the hell the Whizzler was. Oh. Uh, I, I am new to Street Fighter, y'all. This is my first Street Fighter. Everything I've learned, I have learned since this game came out. I've done a lot of homework. Surprise, surprise, no one's called him Tree tree, tree Riz. No one's called no one's called him Tree Wiz, Tree Riz. No? Hmm. Nah. No? Nah, it doesn't work. Yeah, it did. Honestly, it doesn't. It honestly doesn't. It doesn't help the tongue as better as Tree Wiz. Oh. See, Bison, I think, is actually one of the harder matchups for uh, Honda to deal with. There's so many ways to just check it and just hit buttons. Very true. But then again, this is Tree Wiz. Yeah. He's he's dealt he's dealt he's dealt with it all. If, if I think that. Oh yeah, no, he's dealt with he's dealt with everything. I mean, he was also top 50 Evo. You that gotta respect true. that. Yep. Like I, I don't care what tournament you can't count him out. You gotta put some praise the sun. You gotta put some respect <laughs> on his <laughs> name. Some respect the ground. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Ooh, nice punish counter. Praising the sun. It's funny as both these guys want to fly at you from halfway across the screen. They, they, they both like going coast to coast. Yep, they both like going coast to coast like Space Ghost. <laughs> oh, the if you get that reference, you if you get that reference, you're my age. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Level level one. Yep, that's level one. That's gonna be painful. And, and the, the throw! One more! And when he gets the number it. throw, throw him again, throw him again. There we go. Straight in the butt slam. Yep, got to respect the, the distance. Praise that. the sun. We praise the sun around here. Oh, the patience. The cool whip. Oh, Ooh. the jump. And then another counter. Burned out, though. That's going to be bad. Burned out against Tree Wiz. And he's, oh, wake up level two. Yeah, but he was jabbing, so he's got plenty of time to recover yep. from that. And to make it painful. And he's put him back in the corner. And he's only halfway Everybody back. Everybody clap your hands. <laughs> Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
So I feel like Tree Wiz does that sometimes. Like, you win one round against him, he sits up in his chair and takes it seriously. Yeah. Just how it feels, because I've taken rounds off before. It's like, it feels like he's, the next round, he takes it personally. Yeah. It's like, when I, when I fought him one time, like, I think I got, like, maybe, like, maybe, like, three hits on him. Next round, I got per I got perfect KO'd. Yeah, it's like, no, okay, you got your three hits in. Now it's my turn. Oh, the whiff. Oof. Here we go. How? Oop. Drive rush in. He was back to the corner. What's he going to do? Oh, tries to jump out. Oh, nice. Don't score out of it. Oh, but he gets sent back to the ground. Ba oh. Ooh. Gets him with the big meaty bombs. <laughs> oh. Punish counter. And another bus slam. Oh, the parries. Oh! <laughs> Respect the command Dunks him. grab. Dunks him with the command grab. Oof. Pizza's here! That's, that's one pizza. Can I get my own with extra cheese, please? <laughs> yeah. the level one. Okay. Ooh, Com trying to headbutt. Oh, Ooh, swap. gets him with the Dose Soy and dunks him. Ooh, nice jump out. Praise the sun. Praise the sun. The you want to stand over there? Fine, I'll praise the sun. I'm going to get my stack. Oh, is he going to... Oh, drops the combo. That could be fatal. We're going to level three. Yeah, that, we, that's got to be level three. We have to. Got, oh, oh, wait. With the Whoa, style points. This? With the style. He styles on him to finish it off. That <laughs> tree was just feeling too. Yeah, yeah, I styled on you. Oh, we got to get he, some style he, points right in here. I know. Cool Whip just got styled. I'm like, got to praise the style points. What the hell the transition? I'm like, what is going on? Cool Whip shaking his head. He knows that he just got styled on. You think, D, you think DJ is the only guy that can just style on people like doing a little spin in place? Nah, <laughs> Honda's like, I'm a big guy, but I can do it too. I didn't see, when I saw him spin, I'm like, what's going on? Like how you said we're seeing different, different different people tonight. We're seeing something different from Tree Wiz. That with the with the kicks, the, the DI kicks, I'm like, bro, I I've seen been, that I've, from Honda. I've, I've been on that combo a few times. Yeah? <laughs> I've eaten that combo a few times. The reason I knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's style points. It just it ain't fun to be on the other end of it because it's like, oh, here's here's Honda doing a traditional do see do while he waits for me to come back down so he can finish me. Oh, dude, that was that was that was a that was a good combo. I like I've seen oh, it for it, the first time. It's amazing. It is a it is an excellent style combo. That is that is a style point combo for Honda. That's just because like oh well, I didn't just be. I also just did a little woohoo. Wait for you to come <laughs> down too. Oh jeez. Uh, we got a uh, that is that it's magma. I believe it. We never figured out how to say his name. We never figured it out. No, oh, don't ask me. I'm terrible with names. I see MGWA. I was like, oh, magma. Is it magua? Magua. Magua, magma. I, I kind of want to say it's magua. Magua, okay, yeah. Isn't that the thing from Gremlins, the thing you don't feed after midnight? Magua? So much? Yeah, magua. Isn't that, isn't that the thing from Gremlins? You're not supposed to feed them after midnight because they become Gremlins? I don't know. Dang it, they're going to make me Google it. Let me see. It's probably because I've never actually fully watched Gremlins. Yeah, it is. That's Mog the Mogwai. Thanks from Gremlins. Okay. Cantonese word meaning monster, evil, demon, or spirit. Okay. So I'm like, wait. I thought the I thought the little guy from Gremlins is named Gizmo, but I'm thinking of uh, I'm thinking of multiverses and like the actual names and everything. Yeah, Mogwai are the cute fuzzy. Hey, forms. there we go. There we go. Today we are learning about old horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, Jury and Akuma. Yeah, I respect the moves. I respect yeah. the move as a DJ man. I respect the dan I respect the boogie and down when when they're waiting for the things to start up. Yep. Here we go. Oh, good exchange. Oh, nice parries and blocks. The trick about Akuma, though, is every exchange essentially comes out worse for you. Because yeah. you have less health to play with. Exactly. Oh, oh gets the overhead. overhead. Woo! Another overhead. Oh, that axe parry. kick is so mean to watch. Ooh, another exchange. The grab. Still burned out, though. Burned out Akuma. But he's, he's trying to best. Oh. 
Oh, gets oh. him with the jump. Oh, oh man. I, I was shocked. Oh, oh that works. Oh. That'll do too, yeah. That'll work. That'll work. We take those. <laughs> Pinwheel goes off in another dimension, and we'll take those. And see, this is where things get fun, because both these characters like to leave the ground. Yep. Ooh, burned oh. out 10 seconds into the fight. This is going to be interesting. Actually, less than 10 seconds. I can't do math. Oh, yeah, Trump takes some bop. damage on this. Oh, hey, he's getting some There's damage so in. So many hits. Margo's trying to respond, but oh, he gets stunned. And I don't think that was intentional. Yeah, I don't think he just intended. I think he meant to go a little further back. Because now you're burned out against a very angry Akuma. Yeah. Who has a million different ways to make you regret letting him burn out. Oh, man. Oh, oh level three! <laughs> I think he's just waiting for it. I think he's waiting for him to do. Waiting for it. Just, just waiting. Waiting, patiently, plotting, planning. And the level three on Wake Up says, nope, not That's today. Crazy. No, 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 not today. Oh. No whiff. No, 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 whiff. That's, just a hard, that's just a hard miss. Now you got oh. a Kuma in the corner. Oh. Oh man. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, that's There's gonna level hurt. one. That doesn't kill. Nope, but it gets him low enough. Oh. Oh, this oh. is gonna be good. Into yeah, you got three. you gotta throw the level three out. You need to get your you need to get your gauge back, get jury's gauge gone, and see if you can put this in your own hands again. Boom! But doesn't quite have the gauge back, yeah, but stays on the offensive. Oh. Oh. The low jabs. The low jabs. Almost. Almost. Oh, he. Bob was flipping his hat backwards. He needs business now. Oh, the teleport. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Oh. Pinwheel went off a little earlier, that one. Got Jury in the corner. No, you don't get to jump out. You're going right back in there. Trying to respond. Oh, well, oh that's going to feel good. Back into it. Pop, pop, pop. Almost had a burnout. Oh, he's back into it. Got a burnout, but maybe a little. Oh. Oh, oh. that's not going to help. Enough that, health to weather the that storm. Might, and that enough. might be the round. That looks like it might be the round, yeah. Level two, yeah, unless he drops it. Not quite, though. Oh. That'll do. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. Round two. Fight. Catch him trying to drive our chin. Oh. Bad timing for the overhead. I didn't see level three on that, but that's going to be a nice throw. That's gonna, that's gonna do the round. Okay, level two is gonna be around. Still has a bit of a gauge left for the final round. Has, yeah, he still has. He still has level one. So it's evenly, kind of like evenly grounded on on the meter. But as of right now, it's Mago needs to win this to get back in the, to get back in this fight. But he's back in the corner. He's about to be at a burnout. But he responds That'll greatly with a with a drive impact. Great overhead. Nice use of overhead there. Oh. Here comes the level two. We're going to do a lot of damage. Just the speed. Just the, ga the gauge damage. Just yeah. all, the, all the drive gauge gone. A uh, little, <laughs> little mess up on the handshake, but they, but they got through. Great job by both Magua and Chump Slayer. That was a great match. That was excellent. It's, it's not every day you see Chump Slayer going, to, going through round three both games. Yeah, very true. Not, not every day. Not every day. Definitely had good in the overheads. We did see a few drops there, but both of them were playing out of their minds, yeah. realistically. Both of them had it. They both had opportunities to win. Both <laughs> the worst part was just watching the DPs go, Wee! Yep. Wee! It's like, oh, man. It's like, oh look, DP! Wah! <laughs> Wah!
Well, yo. Yeah, no, it was, <laughs> those, those DPs were just like this, one miss after the other. It was like, they were both just kind of off on their on their wake of DPs, but uh, uh, everything else. Hey, sometimes, was, sometimes you got to let it rip. Yep. Sometimes you just got to say, nah, we're going for it. We go for this. Yep. Send it. Full send, brother. Hey, Ron. I'm hands. All right. <laughs> <laughs> There's a throwback for you from the early days of the internet. My God. Let's see. Looks like got Neo Chaos and make sure I don't screw up names. Where? Yeah, I'll say that's Snacks. I was gonna say that is Snacks. Okay, I've only seen him once, so I want to make sure I had the name right before I got ahead of myself. So we got Cami and Chun Li. Ooh, that's gonna be a good one. Battle the OGs. Very true. Now I've played against uh, Neo Chaos at both here and at Youthnet. Bro is, bro is just unbelievable with, with Chun Li. He's got a very solid Chun Li. Are oh, we breaking out the headsets? I respect it. Yeah. I probably should start doing that realistically. I feel like I should too. Especially because DJ's level two is easier if you can hear it. True. I feel like it's the. Parts of the game are just easier just to hear things. It's like, what, like you hear like certain sounds, like from DI or from, or from like level twos, level threes. Or JP. Or you, just you JP. Need to know or just JP in general. It's JP period, because that's how you know he's gonna throw out. Yeah. And All like, of his stuff's off voice lines. Exactly. And like you can, you kind of hear like the little the little uh, portals is opening up. Like you kind of hear like the rift like opening a bit. Like kind of hear that. That can help out a lot instead of just kind of looking at the color of like the portal like opening up and have to guess. Oh yeah. Oh, what we got here? Oh, some technical difficulties. Trying to get the headset working, looks like. Well, well they sent it back to us. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're, 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 we were so busy watching Texas before I look up and say, like, oh, wait. It's us. We're like, we're like, oh god, it's my lucky face. Ah, it's like, it's like, <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Like, what? Okay, what? Now is he turning? Where's Nobby turning? What's he gonna do next? It's like you know, like when you like you watch like your parents or like just like they're doing something, like they're trying to fix something, and like you just like you're so interested, like you're just watching. Yeah. For, like, or like when you want, or, or you have like a friend trying to build a computer, and you're sitting back, just like, like you you see them just start sweating, like how hot it's getting. They're like putting in everything, like, like oh, yeah. So that's where the RAM goes. Mm -hmm. Listen, my favorite part about watching people build computers is because there's always that there's always a few subtle tricks that people like, especially if you've never built a computer before, yeah. you don't know to look for. Which one of the, f the funniest one for me is always a lot of people don't with personal computers. A lot of them have a switch on the back that you turn it on. Yeah. And if you've never built a computer before, you think, oh, push the button on the top, it's going to start. Yeah. You don't realize, oh wait, button on the back of the case that needs yeah. to go on first. Yeah. I got to <laughs> turn my I got to turn on my power supply. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh wait, hold up, I, I missed a button. Oh man. Well, another, another thing is like when people build computers and they like, don't take off the plastic on like the motherboard and everything, or their GPU and just fries their computer. So many little nuances that are so fun for first-time builders. Yep. All right, here we go. Battle the OGs. Here we go. Such long reach on those kicks. Ooh, good grab. Boom. I threw him on the ground. Oh, Ooh, that overhead. Good timing on the overhead. Great blocks. Here we go. Ooh. Oh. Gets caught pushing buttons. Round two. Oh, nice, nice initiative by Cammy. Ooh, missed the throw, though. Both respecting the neutral game, respecting the absolute reach these two have. That's the worst problem playing these guys in neutral. They both have such long reach on all of their abilities. So many ways to just close the gap and make you regret everything. Yep. It's like from, from Cammy's jump to Sun Lee's. Oh, misses it! it. Gets a throw, though. Oh. And oh, the catch sun. trying to escape. There is no escape. There is only darkness. That's going to be Snacks taking game one. And now we get to go to game two. There we go. Oh, 
Oh. Ooh. The spike misses, and now Cammy gets to play in the corner. Oh, Chunli lets him out. But he puts himself back in there. Same trick that yep, the uh, DP is not paying off right now. We're seeing a lot of that tonight. We're seeing a lot yeah. of DPs flying out into the, into the unknown regions of space. Oh, oh. the last second. Yeah, the anime timing. Yeah, that's about the point when the uh, theme music starts playing really loud. Yeah. On the stun. Bop, bop, and checkmate. Ooh. Gotta respect the Hazan shoe. The low the leg sweep. That's some range. The legs. The legs. Beware the legs. Ooh, the grab. Oh. Try to, go for the, try to go for the impact, but yes, he got grabbed. Just keeps kicking. Oh. Just keeps kicking and it keeps working. Oh, nice. Oh, can't test the reactions. This could be level three. That probably will be level three. I think that's going to... Oh, maybe not. Maybe. Oh. No. Uh, oh. Oh. Well, we did get a level three. Yeah, that's not did. the one we were expecting. Oh, yeah, we did get one. I think that's going to kill. Yeah, that will kill. Ooh, yeah. with the screen splatter. There we go. That's one, one. That's going to be one of the worst ways to lose level three. You're splatted up against the screen. Nah, I think I think worst one's Raging Demon. <laughs> Getting hit with Raging Demon. It yeah, no, it, it does it does feel. But I mean, it's saying like you you have the humiliation of just splatting on the screen. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I get what you're saying. I definitely get that. The close one is also losing to Lily's level three. Yeah. <laughs> Boom, boom. Oh, you know, Chaos fighting it out, not giving up just yet. Oh, oh. the air throw. You don't see that every day. You do not. I forgot, I forgot Cammy had that. I didn't even know she had that kind of, that one right there. Oh, the oh. Hazan shoot does not pay off. Yep. Snacks takes it. And Snacks is moving on. Neil Chaos, we're going to see him in the loser's bracket. Who we got continuing next? his journey. Let's see. Who we got next? Or I should say, who's on first? Let's see. Let's see who's on first and what's on second. Looks like right now. How I can tell I'm old is he didn't has no clue what I'm talking about. For what? Who's on first? No, nothing. I, I think I'm, I think I'm just too young. Who's on first? What's on second? Abbott Costello. Nah. Well, <laughs> I need to schedule my hip replacement surgery, people. <laughs> Let's have Okay, the production knows that. They I'm not the only one here, thank goodness. I have it in Costell. I I'm drawn. It's it's one of it's one of the OG like it's one of the OG comedy sketches. Basically, who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. Baseball team. So you got a you get a baseball team. Oh so, so you're gonna tell me who's on first. God gotcha. Exactly. Well, I heard Abbott Exactly what? I heard Abra Costello and was like Yeah. That sounds familiar. It's it's an old it's an old comedy sketch. It's basically a baseball team, and all of them have weird names. Oh, okay. So who's on first? So who's on first? Who? Man on first. Who? Oh. Got playing first base. Who? Who is going to – and whoever's, whoever's here, like on stage, right? Or no? No, who's on first? You're losing <laughs> it's like Some people in the crowd are going to get this, and they're going to laugh. Bro, like the gears in my brain are like like just burning right now. I'm like, I'm trying to get it, but I just can't. Now, who's not on stage? Who's on first? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Let's see. Looks like we got that's soda. I'll, 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 I'll show you the video after this because I need we, I need to get you caught up so I can do this joke. Yeah, I'm like I, this bit needs two people to work. Yeah, <laughs> we need the bit to work. Chat, please tell me someone in chat knows that reference. I know I didn't do the best rep representation of, but hopefully someone out there got it. Yeah. I don't know. Third base. <laughs> Let's see. We got, we got soda. That looks like soda can and Mario. Yep. This is where things get fun. This is where it gets interesting. Honestly, every time I see soda, now like come out walking the building, I just want to just yell, soda! I just want to do that so badly. I don't know, that might shake him up a little bit. Nothing? 
Oh, right. crickets might shake them up. Soda right. can might shake them up a little oh bit. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> I'm tired today, man. I'm tired. I was too until I had you know this giant Red Bull. I know. I I'm, I'm out of Red Bull. I'm out. I'm out of Red Bull right now. Well, unfortunately, my joke about soda can being shaken fell flat. But that one didn't. <laughs> Got him. Damn it. <laughs> every week, every week, if it's you and me in the booth, I know I'm going to hear that joke think, at least once. What can I say? If I don't say it, my joke's going to fizzle out. <sighs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how long it takes you to break this, man. <laughs> oh, my God. No, you like how you broke me last week, at like two, was a week, a week or two ago. You just two dabbed. Two weeks ago, you just dabbed out of nowhere. That wasn't what broke you. The thing that broke you was the thing that led me up to me dabbing. <laughs> <laughs> it was my philosophy question. Oh yes, that that, that broke me. Yes, <laughs> that broke you and production. That was really good. That's how oh, you, that's how you know oh, it, that's yeah. how you know it's good when the voice in the mic is oh. like, why did you have to say that? Oh yeah, now I'm remembering what you said. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, this is the joy of me being in the booth. Is you're gonna hear random, you're gonna hear the most random stuff coming out. Uh. Of my mouth. The best part is I'm just as shocked as at it, as everyone else is at what comes out of my mouth sometimes. <laughs> Because right. by the time I have the Red Bull, I have no filter. Yeah. All right, here we go. We got Rashid and, and, and your philosophy. Rashid and the million dollar feet picks. <laughs> Jeez. Here we go. Jury drive resting in. Rashid answers back. Takes it sky high. Ooh, oh. nice. That was good to lay on the cross up, prevented him from getting perfect carried on the on the cross. Yeah. But the throw, you always gotta watch out for Rashid, because every time he comes in there's a possibility of him to say, I'm just gonna throw you now. Yep. Gets the check. Makes that check bounce. <laughs> also, uh, Moogle, I don't I don't know where the where the Kimberly is tonight. I don't know where the Kim's at. Hey, where is Pink? Hit me in the past like two weeks. I don't know where Pink's. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where Pink Dance Light is. Uh, looks like Quicksilver's in chat. What's that, Quicksilver? <laughs> <laughs> oh, tries to go for the ship, but doesn't quite do it. Oh man! Interrupts it for that last hit and says, "Nope, not today." Spinning Mixer gets uh, countered pretty hard there. Oh, wake up DP. Puts that, saying, that, that is like something we don't see a lot of. We had a lot long streak of time where we didn't see a lot of DPs getting whipped. Yeah. But tonight we're just seeing everyone just like, nah, let her rip. And it's, 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 we're let, they're letting it rip and they're letting it whip too. We're on a new patch, let it rip, let's go. Didn't work last patch, let's try this patch. <laughs> nice grab. Oh, the anime timing. Yep. And that's going to hurt. That ties us up at one round apiece in these winners' quarterfinals. Yeah, so the can definitely made Mario feel like Luigi. Woo! Oh, good grab. Good perfect carry, but unfortunately there's another hit coming right after him. There's the Great Dead of the Storm. That's the first one we're seeing tonight. The first, but definitely not the last, because you know <laughs> Soda Can loves the Great Desert Storm. I don't think I, I very rarely ever see him use the level one or the level three. It's always yeah. about the level two. Yep. So we can't love Great Desert Storm as much as uh, Cool Whip loves uh, pizza being here. Pizza's here! Exactly. <laughs> the two things we hear the most. Pizza's here and the Great Desert Storm. Yep. Ooh, excellent overhead to start the match. This is going to put Jury in the corner and another overhead. you got to respect the overheads in these characters. He's, just laying. He's, just He's going for the perfect. Yeah. He, he wants the perfect parry. He, he wants, wants perfect KO. He wants it. Is he going to get it? Yes, he will. Yeah, that's a perfect KO. Completely relentless. Can we see two? Is it really impossible? A quick thing. I think our names are backwards. What do you mean? There it goes. We had I, I just realized that, actually. I, like, I was looking at that like, hold up, something wrong here. <laughs> There's a great desert storm. We're going again. Soda Can wants to put it away. Yep. Oh. Oh, that I think is gonna, is gonna maybe do it? not quite. Uh -huh. 
Oh, he's just gonna chip him out. He's gonna chip, he's gonna chip him out. Yeah, he is. I'm waiting for the level one. Oh, oh doesn't come out. Gets the throw. The command grab to put it away. I can't believe we went almost two, almost a complete set before we realized the name is switched. No, we said switch. <laughs> um, I looked, I looked at the screen for us. I'm like, wait, I don't see our names. And I saw some names. The names. Name it. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? I completely forgot. Like I'm just like used to just seeing just left and right. Like, I forgot Mario. Yeah, we, was. we get so engrossed in it, we don't look check names that closely, and we look up. It's like, wait, hold up. Yeah. Oh man. Something right here. Yeah. I feel the service of the force. Service the force. No, that was a good. That was a good set. Yeah, the shorts was strong with him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Let's see who we got up next. Let's see. Yeah, it's a good question. Let's see. We just had those two. Who going next? No, sorry, who's on first? <laughs> oh, here we go. I got True Wiz and Norb. There we go. I had to scroll up. I was scrolling the wrong direction. True Wiz and DJ Norb. We get the big meaty palms versus the modern, modern. difference himself. Yep. This is going to be fun. Now the question is, will the winner be the modern problem or the modern solution? Which one's which? Oh, wait. Well, obviously, Norm's a modern problem because he's the one playing modern. Oh, that's true. And the modern solution is playing is, classic. It's playing classic because uh, it's the solution to modern. That's true. Okay. I'm just like, thinking, like, okay, which one's which? I feel, I feel like I was walking into a trap for a second. I'm like, what's going on? It's a trap! <laughs> <laughs> to, be, to be fair, it is right to be cautious around me. <laughs> it's a, it's a trap. With the amount of jokes that I throw out, it is very right to be cautious when I start saying the, stuff. The amount of pop culture in your brain is the be way to be cautious. Yeah, well, the, pr the funny part is, it's all pop culture, but it's zero celebrity knowledge. Oh, uh, okay. Celebrity knowledge, you will lose me so fast. I don't keep track of celebrities. Like, pop culture stuff, you know, anim anime, you know, that sort of, anime, that sort of stuff. Yeah, you got, I got you there. Yeah. But the second you go to actual human celebrities, and you'll lose me. Mm. You'll lose me so fast. I'm like, who? Who that? Who that? <laughs> who that? Who that? Yeah, I, 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 can't, I can't keep track of celebrities to save my life, but I can keep track of all the other pop culture references. Okay. Look at the backpack. You talking about? Wait, you talking about the I Am Groot backpack? Yeah, you talking about Wiz? You talking about Wiz's backpack? Groot. Talking about the iconic Groot backpack from Tree Wiz? The backpack for the man who speaks three words in no, in the same particular word at all times. I Am Groot. Oh wait, he's going modern Ryu. He does have both. He has a modern Kami and a modern Ryu. Okay. Here we go. Oh. The spacing. Oh, close in the space. You gotta respect the spacing. Oh, and the anti air. Sure you can! Oh, another one. Sure you can. Go Hadouken. Ghost getting his, uh, Dingy his dungeon. Oh, here we go. The big meaty palms. Praising the sun. Donkey kick. Oh, True Wiz has fans. I see you, Shardroid. Oh, Shardroid's here? Yeah, he's in the chat. Oh, I love look behind me. I'm like, where is he? Come oh, on, man. Chat's here with us. Here with us in the booth. Watching the big man get a uh, fight his way out of the corner with a headbutt. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> Caught the modern, pro the modern problem is you push that button a little too soon and it goes uh, oh, nowhere. Another whiff, another GG whiff. That's how you deal with the modern problem. You gotta get him. You gotta get him. Uh, you gotta trick that hair trigger into going off a little early. Yep. A little low into the drive rush. Oh, nice dungeon. Oh wow, Ooh, nice. that was a late shore you can. Oh, nice. Yep. I've actually never seen that particular combo before. For Ryu? Yeah. I know. I started learning it when I, pl when I started playing him. But that combo, you can uh, easily uh, go into dungeon. Okay. Did you say dungeon or dungeon? I say dungeon. Okay. I, I hear dungeon. I'm like, hold up. Does Ryu have some proclivities that I am not aware of? I just, I just say dungeon. There we go. And that's going to be the round. And that's the ring of fire for game one. Yep. Tree Wiz has proven himself so far to be the modern solution. Yep. And yeah, struck at the point. Modern problem needs modern solutions, but not, but not there. 
Yeah, the modern, the modern solution is not always the uh, hair trigger supers. Yep. Oh, what? Oh, double oh. whiff. Oh, nice icebreaker. They're both jockeying for position. You need that first hit. Oh. There you go. Dosoi, dosoi. The big meaty palms. There you go. And. Yep, the level one. Here comes the pain. Cashes out the level one to make sure he gets the round. The pain had been delivered. Oh. The spacing. Oh, the anti air. Oh, the face. <laughs> Trying to land these donkey kicks at the right time, but Norb is not getting them. Praise the sun. Be praising. So, okay, you want your charge? Oh. Here's my charge. Into the ground. Icebreaker. Butt slam. Wake up EFDP. The drive rush. Ooh, oh. again checks it. It's gonna hurt. Oh, oh. <laughs> hits him with the command throw. Saw him earlier. He was parrying that. He was parrying, oh. waiting for the hip, the, 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 the leg to drop. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's gonna hurt. That's grind level three. I don't think it's gonna kill though, because this is modern. But then again, it is critical art. Yep, not gonna kill. Not quite. That is the problem with modern. You do less damage on those. Oh. Oh, the patience. Ooh, there we go. Gets him with the butt slam. Brings the hammer down, and the modern solution, Tree Wiz, is moving on. Yep. That modern level three is gross. I happen to wholeheartedly agree. There's nothing quite as bad as like, I got him. There's no way he can do, he can do the input in time. And he just does it in time. Boop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One button. Sure. <laughs> oh, man. Was, I've, run that so, I've run into that so many times because there's several people in my group that also play modern and there's nothing quite like, I got him now! Boop. No! The one button. Goodbye. The one button of doom. Somebody just called that a one-hit wonder. You beat me to a joke this time. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm learning as I go. I respect it. I respect to, the joke. You're, 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 starting to rubble, you're starting to like, you're... Your puns in there are starting to rub up on me, man. I'm like, I'm starting to learn. Yeah, I mean, hey, what can I say? The hits keep coming. Uh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> you're gonna, if you're going to make, you're going to give me the musical jokes line, I'm going to keep going yeah, with it. Yeah, very true. That looks like I see Soda. Who's he getting ready to fight? Woo -hoo -hoo. Who is it? Oh, yeah, why, why am I trying to look down? I can just look at my <laughs> sheet. Like, what am I doing? Who is it? Oh, I think we're. I think they're still waiting for the fight. That because if Soda Can's up there, he's waiting on the winner of Chump Slayer versus Mix Up City, which is Ooh. happening at one of the off-screen stations. Oh, okay. You see, like Soda Can is getting the mindset. He's getting ready. He's already up on stage. Like, getting, oh yeah, no, he's ready. He's he's just kind of chilling out there. It's like, yeah, I got yeah. player one side. I'm good. Yeah, he's ready. Ready. Never underestimate the value of having your choice of side. Yeah. Because it may not be a lot, especially because in this game you switch sides a lot, but there's, yep. it's the early momentum. Very it's true. early momentum. Let's face it, almost everyone practices player one side. Yep. Which is always funny because at low levels you find that when they're player two side, everyone falls apart. Yep. Especially at low ranks. It's like, oh, yeah, what's player two side? What's that? It's like, I have to, I have to input the other way? Oh, and it can be a problem for people. Yeah. It can be an absolute, it just, it's dangerous. It looks like he's gonna be playing. Uh, looks like Chump. Yeah, it looks like Chump Slayer. It looks like Chump Slayer <laughs> didn't realize that he was supposed to go straight up on stage. Yeah. So just calling him out. He's saying like, "Dude, dude, get up here! It's our turn." Oh, it is a cat shirt. Okay, I approve. Yeah. So we have the cats versus the rabbits. The felines versus the bun buns. The meows versus whatever they make the noise. Of. Yeah, I was about to say whatever sound rabbits make. What does the rabbit say? Oh, ding, 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 oh my ding, ding, god. <laughs> oh my god. And now that song is stuck in everyone's heads, you're Jeez. welcome. You would think you'd think Trump Slayer would, would wear would wear the bunny shirt because a bunny's foot, a rabbit's foot, and he plays jury. Because feet and feet. You know you got a point. 
But maybe he doesn't. Maybe he feels like he doesn't need a lucky rabbit's foot to put the hurt on Soda Can and make yeah. him fall flat. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. Yeah, maybe. Here we go. Quick story, I do have to agree, this venue is lit, it is nuts, it is insanity, it is the best place to be on a Thursday night. Ooh. Especially if you're like me and the alternative is an hour and a half to two hours driving home. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, no. Nice DI, gets himself out of a sticky situation, gets the side switch, Ooh, and is going to continue to spin to win. The d oh. Ooh. Oh, gets wow. him again. That was a risky. That was a risky drive impact, but he paid off. The risky business. That's the great hazard storm. Here we go. That's number two. Oh, oh misses oh. it. Oh, catches it anyway. The great desert oh. storm is covering. <laughs> <laughs> Even he's like, I, I don't know. He's like, I don't know. He's like, wait, I, okay, I'm as shocked as y'all. <laughs> There we go. Sometimes the game helps. Yep. Quick story, yeah. Quick story, I do have to agree. That does seem kind of, uh, yeah. Kind yeah. Of, kind of, yeah. Got to respect a great desert storm. It'll win fights for you. You don't got to do anything. Oh. Nice grab. Happy birthday. I didn't realize he actually was happy birthday when he does that. He's sending a gift. I probably realized. Oh, nice wake up. Nice counter. Number <laughs> three. Great Desert Storm. Let's go. Oh, that's going to hurt. Because he's going to catch it on the way down, too. Oh. Tough player in response. Ooh. The timing. And, that, and this is going to be bad. Yeah, that's that's going to that's do it. Oh, level two. No, he's got, he's got another round to win. The thing he's already burned out. Has the advantage. Doesn't really need to spend it, really, so he thinks. Yeah. Will he regret that decision? Let's find out. No, nope, does won't. not regret it. He's going to feel very good because he managed to win that, saving a bar meter. So he's got to level one to save him if he needs to cash out the end. Okay. Let it rip. Let it rips and falls flat again. We're seeing these DPs going everywhere but the intended target. Yeah. Nice reaction. Ooh, a cheeky and fireball is lingering. Soda can already in burnout. Trying to stay alive. Oh, the grab. And... That's, That's gonna do it. For yeah, a perfect, perfect KO. KO. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe maybe the nine lives is paying off. Maybe. Unfortunately, these tournaments you only have two lives. Yep. Ooh, that shimmy. That was a dirty shimmy. Yes, it was. Well. Okay, Blueberry. <laughs> Funny guys, when she does that, you know he's daring you to do something. He's going to hit a dry brush after it. Yep. Ooh, the stomp. Oh, the parry. Oh. The parry, the side switch, the hit. Ooh, the, the face, the wind, the pinwheel, the death. Yep. Spin to win. Spin to win. Let it rip. Stop. Ooh, oh, <laughs> the reaction. level one. The reaction. But no, Trump you don't player. get this. This is not for you. Another good reaction. I think that's player. I think that's the game. Yeah. Yep, there's level one. That gonna do it. That's gonna do it. Or, oh wait. Oh, they did a first to three? Oh, we're winners semis, yeah, this is first to three. Oh. We get one more. Let's, let's go. Alright. Let's go, let's go. We love this. We love to see it. See if Soda Can has any fizz left or if he's already falling flat. Yeah, Moogle, you gotta bring your shirt game. That's the reason I'm rocking the DBZ shirt here in the booth. Ooh, Ooh. another lets it rip and another goes everywhere except where it needs to go. I'm starting to wonder, this, this, this last patch, they patch all the DPs to go everywhere except where they're supposed to go? I may be. 
The DP is just collectively get nerfed because it seems like we're seeing a lot of those things flying everywhere except for, except at the opponent. Yeah. Hey, it's a new patch. Maybe everyone just has like new patch of jitters. Maybe. Could be. Or everyone's just been playing Terry. Yeah, <laughs> that too. That could be it. It's because everyone's too, so busy playing Terry. It's like, oh wait, how do I play my character again? Another pinwheel goes nowhere. See, we need to get a counter at some point on the screen. How many times a DP gets whiffed? Yep. Good check. Gonna burn the level two. Gonna make the most of this burnout. Oh, good response. Oh. Nice reaction by Chunk Slayer. Very good, very good. Oh, oh that's dangerous. Oh. And Chunk Slayer is living dangerously. But that might do it. I don't know. It's close. Not quite. Oh, oh. <laughs> so oh, close. Wow. Fought it back so hard, but the one last kick at the end. The patience to wait for the one opening. Oh, we get a DP to lands that time. Great Desert Storm. That's, what, four? No. I've stopped counting. I, I think I've lost track already. I, I couldn't remember if it was but three or four. But he weathers the storm. Jury has weathered the storm without getting burned out or taking a hit. Nice pinwheel. Oh, there we go. The advance, the spacing, the reaction from Soda Can. Ooh, jumps that. that Ooh, that another, jump another DP another goes win. nowhere. That was a good jump over the fireball. That DP was dangerous. All it took was oh, one counter DI on that one, and GG. The oh. pinwheel. Nice. Spin to win, let it rip. Yes, sir. Oh, Trump Slayer said, I don't need nine lives. I only need the one, and I'm staying alive. Yeah. Whereas Soda Can, unfortunately, falls flat here. He's going to see if he can regain his fizz in the loser's bracket. Yep. Get some, get some recarbonation in him somehow. Somehow, some way, I think next. Ooh. I think is that that is next, right? I'm seeing Snacks versus Tree Whiz. Really? That's going to be good. Ooh. Now we're getting this yeah. one. This one, the fun begins. <laughs> yeah, here he comes. That's Tree Wiz. Oh. He's looking at my soul again. I see you. <laughs> I, feel, I, I still think he, oh, he's like, oh, I thought he was looking back at us. Nah, he's looking at snacks. Thank God, he's looking at snacks, not us. I'm like, I swear, I feel like he, I feel like he goes back and watches the VOD and just, and just sees if we're Probably, because he, he knows full well that I, I freak out every time. He's like, ah, my soul. Okay, we got, we got the headset. Then we're gonna try the headset again. We're gonna try the headset one more time. One more time. Dun, 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 <laughs> dun. <laughs> uh, this this is why I should be on the radio. I have the face for it. I do have a face for radio. Are you gonna, <laughs> are you, are you gonna take? Are you just gonna like start to make a phone calls and just start being like, hey, you won, you you won a thousand dollars today? Nah, I'm not gonna. Nah, that's no. You got, you're not gonna you're not gonna take the phone calls. No, I, I, I want to be the one announcing the stuff. That's the fun part. That's when you get fun. Yeah. I get you. The you best like, part is when you can get announcer voices going. Yeah. You start doing little voices like, Oh my gosh, you're the best thing that's ever happened to sliced bread. Whatever are we going to do with you? I wasn't expecting that. I, when you said announcer voice, I thought they were going to be like, like, you know, like, like radio well, voices. Well, like, sometimes you got to have a minion, you know, like a little foo. And now this voice is in your head, and you're never going to be able to get it to stop. Why well, does it remind me of, um, <laughs> it reminds me of uh, when Peter Griffin had uh, the, the little twin out of his, like, ring of his neck. That's what it reminds me of. I, I was leaning towards that accent. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Hi, everybody. I'm Little Pete. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, the voices. I was, I was expecting you to, like, you know, like, when you said, like, announcer voice, I thought it going to be, like, every, like, radio guy. It's, like, a deep voice. Oh, see, no. If I want, if I really want to crash ratings, I can do a voice that will make everyone hate me immediately. Should I do it? Just to see how quick chat starts flaming me. Yeah, let's see. 
Mr. Jar Jar Binks, betcha, betcha. <laughs> Mr. gonna commentate long time, long time. It's a grand time, betcha, betcha. <laughs> and I have, my co-host is now dead. <laughs> <laughs> or dying. <laughs> I hate the fact it's one of the impressions I'm good at. Oh <laughs> my god. I hate that's that's one of the few impressions I actually have really down. <laughs> oh my, that was good. Oh man. Misa secretly Sith Lord, betcha betcha. <laughs> Misa strong with the force. Annie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the robot chicken jokes. Oh my gosh, man. Oh, go. Water Boy's already telling me to stop. I just looked at chat. <laughs> I'm already being told to stop. That didn't take long. It's like stop. You're violating the law. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that voice violates the Geneva Convention, but anyways. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Snacks and, snacks and Tree Wiz. <clears throat> Good initiative by Tree Wiz. Ooh, the Ooh. whiff. Whiffs that command throw and he's going to pay for it. Checks it again. They're going in. Honda keeping up the pressure. Make oh misses that one. Puts himself in the corner. That's good never parry. a good place to be. Oh, good butt slam. Here we go. We're gonna see the big meaty palms put to work. Yep. Let's go. And yep. Not quite enough to finish the kill. But ah. I see what oh, you there. Yeah. But <laughs> not to kill. But slam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a good response? Oh, block the overhead. Good grab. Oh, there we go. Yep, now we're gonna get the Cami uh, coin tosses. That's a, that's a hard problem playing against Cami. is so many ways to mix it up, so many ways to make you guess. Probably some of the most oppressive Oki in the game because <laughs> because of that. Yep. You guess wrong once, and it's like, oh, well, I'll, just, I'll come back in five minutes when it's my turn again. Yeah, exactly. Part of me is wondering if I killed Chow with the Jar Jar Binks voice. I know I said I was going to tank ratings, but I think I may have tanked you too hard. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely killed me, man. I, I wasn't expecting you to do the Jar Jar impression. <laughs> I know, it's the last impression anyone expects out of me. Speaking of unexpected, that butt slam was very expected. Yep. And Snack's starting to learn the timings. Ooh, good check on that one. They're both fighting for the crucial Game 1 victory. Especially at this stage. I mean, yeah, we're doing Ooh. best of three, but that first game is huge. Oh, nice anti-air. I'm still John Jarman's actually working out. I think that's twice now that it's been checked by the cannon spike. Well, that time it works. Third time's a charm, I guess. Yep. And I think we're going to see the Ring of Fire. Yes, we yep. are. Yep. We're going to be like we're gonna be like Johnny Cash. We're going to sing about it all night long. Yep, about going down, down, down yeah, in a burning ring, ring of fire. fire. This time we stopped at the same time. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I learned that from like two weeks ago. I learned, I learned to make sure it's at the same time. This is how we do it. And Tree Wiz is showing how it's done. Praise We're the sun. Gonna praise it. We praise it tonight. Ooh. Oh, another, another anti-air. No check. No oh. check on the raw DI. It's gonna keep hitting. Keep pushing buttons. Gonna keep getting punished. Oof. 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 He was finally finds a groove to get himself out of the corner. Put some pain back on Cammy. What do you mean he's only a chip away? Yeah. It's 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 the right solution to the DI there, because I mean even if he DI's back, it's he's still loads so he can't get knocked out. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh, Hana's in the corner. It was very very angry Cammy. Ooh, one, two, three. The, the hits keep on coming. Level three's coming. Snacks is going to take this one. Snacks is taking it up. Now we are tied up one to one. This is what you love to see, especially this late in the game. You want to see the close fights. You want to yeah. see both, both players duking it out for all they're worth.
Ooh. One, nice. two, three. Ooh, good check on that one. We're going to praise his son, Ooh. and we're going to make that with DI pay. Yep. The butt slam. Boom. Get some good damage in. The damage around. keeps coming. Give him the round of applause. The big meaty palms, the headbutt, the butt slam. The hits keep coming. Oh, snacks and get out of it. True is you're supposed to win with that last yeah. hit. Not supposed to switch it back. Now I just now I look silly. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens with traffic comedic timing. The players don't always cooperate. Hmm. It happens. Yeah, it well it usually happens. It's actually rare to get it right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and when you do though, that's when the magic happens. Exactly. We're praising the sun. Going in, Cami is burned out against a very angry Honda. We're going to see the palms, the big meaty palms put to work. Oh. One, two, hit. Out of burnout. DI. Out of burnout. Gets the double dip. Butt slam. Oh, not DI. That was a DXDP. Oh, Ooh, that's going to do it. Tree was taking game two in commanding fashion. They're trading it off, though. It seems like one side just rolls it, then they roll it back, then yeah. roll it back. Ooh. Nice. Hits the headbutt. That's the thing about Cammy. All it takes is one bad hit and you're in the mix-up zone. Yep. One whip, one bad hit, one... One, one bad, bad day. Hit. One bad day. Oh. Big exchange, I would say. <laughs> so many butt slams. We're, we're seeing the OG Honda Strat. Butt slam, butt slam, butt slam. Command butt slam. Oh. Another one. Oh, the reaction. But that's not going to save him not because gonna save he's got you a too one. Low. You are too low to do this. You must have this much health to DI. Praise the sun. A little close up. A round of applause. The command grab. The sumo slam. Ooh. Oh, there we go. The exchange. Oh, just walking Honda back to the corner. One little hit at a time. Oh, the whip. Oh. One little baby but step at a time. Under the, under the wall. <laughs> Butt slam. Oh, overdrive. We're going to see level three right now. Oh, not, no. not quite. Oh, the perfect parry. Ooh. Doesn't get anything out of, it, out of it, though. Yeah, doesn't get anything out of it. Kind of like step back a little bit. This is probably going to be level three here, though. Yeah. Yep. Got to put her away. Got to put the round away. You cannot let Triwiz walk out and leave the level three sitting on sitting in the back pocket. Yep. You got to spend it. You got to take it to ground three. This is staying alive now. Snacks is, tr Snacks is trying to prove he's got a five game shelf life here. Ooh, the big meaty palms, the clap, the slap, the sumo oh, slam, man. the ring of oh, fire. fire. Wait from, wait from. Round of applause to being slap happy to now being in the ring of fire. Ooh. That's a lot of damage. Ooh. Now that's a lot of damage. Yeah, flex tape can't fix that. <laughs> and the headbutt. Tree Wins in triple tree was fashion. <laughs> Just pulling out the shenanigans. Dang. Oh, man. That's our guy. That's tree whiz. That's tree whiz, beer whiz, however you want to call them. Just don't call them in the loser's bracket. Yep. Let's see, no. what do we got next? We're, we're, having a, we're having a good time here. We are having a good time. Let's good see. turnout, That's good nice. vibes, a good old time. Thinking. See which one's gonna be. I'm, I'm not sure which one's gonna be next. Are we gonna see winners' final next, or are we gonna see one of the losers' quarterfinals next? Let's turn around and see. You can turn around. I'm, I'm not. Yeah. I'm gonna keep I don't know. Around. There's no one going to our stage. Everyone's just just chilling. I'm like, let's turn around and see. Now it'd make it more awkward if I turn around and someone's looking at me. That makes it more awkward. 
Oh, see, that's one of the things I need. I need to find a way to prank you. Get like a standee that just have someone raise it up behind you. <laughs> like a little string. It's just like, and then it's just Jar Jar Binks coming from behind <laughs> the chair. Yes, Jar Jar Binks rising up from behind you. Oh my God. <laughs> I need to figure out how to make this happen. I need to be able to troll you with this one one of these days. You probably can find something at Spirit. You probably, probably could, honestly. It's, it's, it is, it is Halloween. Year. Time of the year. It is that time of year where Spirit Halloweens rise up from the ashes of failed stores. Yep. I, I, uh, now I can see it now. Oh man, I'm gonna call it one at one of the one of these one of these sessions. Uh, one of these Thursdays, I swear you're gonna come in with a Jar Jar Binks mask or something. Nah, I don't have the face for a Jar Jar Binks mask. If anything, I'd be Chewbacca. No, <laughs> nice. Oh, no, 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 just a mask just to have it with you. <laughs> just have it on your hand. And just put it right behind me or something. You do the voice. I throw my voice behind you so you get to listen to it. Oh my god, Jar Jar, Jar, Jar Binks in stereo. In stereo, jeez. You do your Chewbacca do my Han Solo. Chewy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> no, Chewy. It's D.I. Then, then, <laughs> then punish. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're testing the sound quality of these mics tonight, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With me my weird impressions. Oh. There we go. I love D.I. Double D. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry, uh, start saying rada rada for, for Chowder. Rada rada. Rada rada rada. Oh, my God. It starts sounding like Ice King to like, but the princess is love when I play Ryu Finn. I'm glad you got that one because I actually can't do Ice King very well. Oh, man. <laughs> This, this is what we should do for Halloween. We'll just be doing uh, cameo voices the entire time, never using our own voice. <laughs> oh, my God. I think Halloween is on a Thursday this year. So is that, it? We, I think it is. Check correct me because I can't see a calendar right now. Oh but God. for now, we're going to see a wham, bam, slam you, ma'am from Mix-Up City. Quickly check this. Hold on. I got to check this. Ooh, Condor Spire. Now, see, this is a fun yeah. fight because you got two people that both want to just spiral their way in. But one has a command throw and one has a bunch of mix-ups. And go back to your crack. Halloween is on a Thursday this year, so there will there will be a tournament on a Thursday. Oh, all the impersonations are gonna come out tonight. <laughs> I'm like Gordon Man impression ready. Oh. That's another one I can't really do. I can't get his voice right. Mix up city. Play, kind of play it safe. Being a burnout. But Snacks is laying down. Oh, never mind. Oh, never Ooh. mind again. The blocks, the spacing. Ooh, oh, that will do it. The patience paid off. Waited out the burnout. Wait till he got the DI back and takes the round. Ooh, the mix ups. See, now you, now you got mix up City dealing with mix up, mix -up. pressure of his own. Yeah. And a KO. perfect KO. The mix-ups are coming both ways. It's a mix-up tropolis, if you will. Boom. Slam down, gets another throw. The strike throw mixes are posing a problem today. Oh, Ooh, that one was safe. You got time to DI that one. Cracks the neck, throws him in the corner. Burns out. That's going to be a DI. That's going to be a level three. There we go. That's going to be a lot of hurt. Not quite a critical R, but it's still going to hurt a lot. Yep. See, the trick here is Cammy does have level three. They are bold and burnout, but not very long. Oh, here we go. Oh, doesn't need the level three, so I'm just going to check out right now. And here we go. <laughs> <laughs> There's an echo in here. Yes. There's an echo in the booth, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. I don't know, was that foresight or was I just 
lucky. I think I was lucky. I might have been lucky on that one. Fighting the way out. Not seeing very much command throws, but that's respect the fact that Cammy has a million ways to get out and punish for it. Very nice, very, very nice from Snacks. Mixing it up, juggling it up for Mix Up City. Well, let's see what we do. What, what was that? <laughs> that was, that's what we call a bait move. It's just because, like, wait, what the heck was that? Yeah. Definitely baited me. I'm like, I, was that an attack or a taunt? You got your baited, jabroni. Oh, man. <laughs> Go. Oh, oh, the level one. Boom. Nice reaction. Reverse is putting in work, but unfortunately getting very close to burnout again. One grab. We're going to see another one. Level one again. Now we're going to see level one. We're burning out. Bop. Oh, at the very, at the very tail end of it. Oh. That's burnout. But snacks, snacks don't need to even be it. He you have Mirror, he's in burnout because he, he can do damage any way he wants. He's got to watch out for level 3. Level 3 is still on deck, and at this range, it might kill. Nope, not going to have a chance. The level 1's coming out. Not taking any chance of a level 3 wake up end in this fight. There we go. Now we are in the final round of this game. Snacks does have a severe advantage in terms of the super meter. Trading Great close blocks kind of from City. Excellent defense. Oh, found that gets caught pushing a button on that one. Tries to backdash, gets punished for it. Snacks has found his opening. Oh. Mix up trying to close that opening. And he does. Excellent defense. Oh, but Burns out. That's oh. when it's going to hurt. Was waiting for it. Gets put in the corner. In burnout. I think that's the one thing that's kind of put, putting Snacks in a bad spot. Oh. Too ready to burn himself out. Man. Man grab. Oh. Now they're both in burnout. One has level three, one does not. Oh, level two. Oh Misses. no. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna that's, be the level three. That's, that's gonna hurt a lot. And that's also burnout. And this is not gonna this is gonna kill, no or no? no not won't. gonna kill, it's gonna be it's gonna it's burnout. chip damage at this point. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. Just kind of close it out. Let me think for a second. That was gonna, that was gonna kill. Him with those I was just a little, little short, just a little bit. Needed one, more, needed one more light attack to be a kill. Mix up stays fighting for his life. He needs this game to stay alive. Snacks with a 2-0 lead going into this game three. Gets the throw. Up you go. Back in the corner with you. Oof! Tries to go for the double drive rush. Gets caught in the uh, in that spin hit going up. Part of me wonders if chat's even listening or if they muted me after that drug or being fiasco. Ooh, good driver reversal. Once again, burned out. That's the kind of that's kind of the downside of playing Lily. You use the driver reversal to deal with the Condor Spire, but then you burn yourself out, and then you gotta deal with the Condor Spire and burn out. The pokes. The poke. The Condor Spire. The DI. The stun. And the finish. Goes right in. Another drive reversal. The drive reversal is really good for getting Lily off of you, but the problem is it keeps putting you closer and closer to burnout. That's true. And that's what's gotten Snacks in trouble a few times, is that he's getting into burnout. Doesn't seem to be a problem here, though. Puts Lily in the corner and is going on an offensive crusade. But driver also from Lily. Yeah. Lily and burnout. Got to play your cards right. Ooh, that was a good card. Oh. Oh, the can spike to react. Good reaction by Snacks to end the round, going into now set point for Snacks. Set point, Mix Up City is not going quietly. Oh, it does get that.
keeps going with the hits. The hits keep on coming. Very action, great counter. But Cammy is once again Good. very close to burnout. Yeah, that is very true. And let's see if Mixup City can get her into burnout or unless he'll, he'll burn himself out. And they're both they're both fine for the burnouts here. And now they're both in burnout. Here we go. They're both in burnout, both with level threes. This is just gonna be one one good combo is gonna do it. Oh, oh wake up. Hot pushing buttons. Oh, and oh, that's good. That's gonna be a good start. Gotta watch out for level three though. Patience, that level three is being waited for. Oh. 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 Good grab. Gets thrown. They're both out of burnout now. One more hit's gonna do it. Whoever gets the hit wins. Oh. oh. There's a level three. There we go. We were Hot. waiting for it. The level three he was waiting so patiently, oh, man. waiting was, for the spire in to hit with a level three with was, the execute critical art. That was a great, great reaction by Snacks. He waited so patiently. So patient. The patience to have it in your back pocket, just like one of these days. I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm it's waiting. A, it's like he has he has Palpatine in the back of his head. He's like, do it, do, do it. it, do it, do it. Good. Let the hate flow through you. Oh, man. <laughs> See, the sad thing is the only Star Wars impression I'm good at is Jar Jar Binks. And yeah, no, my, my Palpatine's okay. Just, all, I, all I can say is, do it. That was good, though. Yeah, it's, I can do Jar Jar Binks, and I'm pretty sure half of chat, is, most of the chat is probably muted me already. They're probably like, ah, oh, mute this guy. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, that's, that, was, that was good, though. That was good. It was good. It's unexpected. No one expects me to break out the Jar Jar Binks, which is why I do it. Yeah, now I can, now I can never get that out of my head. <laughs> Never get it out of my head. Excellent, excellent. But I love Jar Jar Double D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other impression I can do decently is Ed from Ed and Eddie. I think, I think a lot of people could do Ed pretty well. Gravy. Oh, come on, Double D. I don't say gravy all the time. What do you mean, Double D? That sounded more like John Wayne, honestly. <laughs> oh yeah. That was, that was a little less. That was a little less Ed and Eddie, a little more John Wayne. I always thought I always thought Ed like talked a little bit, talked a little bit slower. And like I, I barely watch Ed and Eddie, but I know like best thing about Ed. Put the chicken, put the chicken, put the chicken. <laughs> best thing about uh, Ed and Eddie was the way Ed runs. I just he runs like DJ Gis. That's probably why I have the impression <laughs> down so good. Because he runs like DJ Gis. Just lean back, just lean back and let it go. Yep. He he has he has the opposite Naruto run. His head's back. Yeah, just head back, legs going. Just let the legs go where they go. <laughs> All right, let's let's see who we have up next. Let's see. We're going. We're still. Are we still? In, are we still in uh, losers? Or are we going to winners? I don't know. It's actually a very good question. Are we gonna have losers semifinals? Because on deck is gonna be snacks and soda can. Or are we gonna? Or are we gonna play winners final first, which is gonna be Tree Woods versus Chump Slayer? Ooh. A classic. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. A classic as always. Oh, this is gonna be good. Yeah, because we got snacks, soda can, and then yeah, we're down to, we're down to the final four, y'all. Yeah, we are. We are in fact down to the final four. One of these, one of these four is going to be walking away the champion tonight, and the other three, well, runners up. Exactly. They still they still get their name on the board. Yeah. So you know, for those of you who have not come here, we do put all the names with their characters on the big screen, so you do get a little bit of recognition. My name's been up there once, and I'm holding on to that forever. <laughs> hey man, it's all you need. One's, one's all you need. One's yeah, all you need. Yeah, just one time. And sometimes, yeah. One one is all you need. We take those. Hey, pretty soon, one, hopefully one day, my name will be up there too. I don't care if it's seven or one, as long as I'm up there. Yeah, basically as long as you're up there. Seven, anywhere from seventh to first, your name is on the board. You take a picture, you can be like, ah, I'm going to frame this. But we don't got to frame this fight. We're going to see. Oh, my God. <laughs> They're both doing it now. It's Scary. spreading. The staring it's virus scar is spreading. Ugh. It's scary. It's scary. <laughs> Looking at you, I look, I look back and just jump in, just jump in front of the camera. I'm like, oh, jeez. Like, mm, hello. It's like a jump scare. I know, right? At this point, it's a game for them. They they love messing with us up here in the booth, just trying to get in our side of our heads. It's like we're not the guys you gotta mentally deal with. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> they love us. Yeah, we see them. We see it, we acknowledge it, we commentate it. Now we get to see 
if the tree's roots run deep or if nine lives will be enough to claw down the tree. That was good. I like that one. I occasionally got good ones. I occasionally mix in some good banter with my uh, random shenanigans and factoids and impersonations. Nice. So we have E Honda versus Jury. The Sumo versus the Million Dollar Character. <laughs> See, there's a million dollars right there. Oh. Good start. Oh, here we go. The exchange of defense. And the, the big BT palms. The reaction from TreeWiz. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh the perfect. perfect parry. Says, take your headbutt and get out of here. Ooh, the backdash. Gets him out of the corner. Honda's going on the offensive, putting the big meaty palms to work. Ooh, checks the dosoi. That's twice. I think I think Chumpsler has, has figured out an answer to the dosoi. Ooh, doesn't quite have the answer that time. Oh, Ooh, that's the level reaction. one on reaction. Boom, but not quite enough to kill, but that's one shot away. Oh, oh just walks up and he kicks him in the shins. Just walked up. Sometimes oh. the only thing you need to do is walk up and give that him a good was, shin kick. That was menacing. Especially his jury, though. Jury can just like tele practically teleport to your shins. Yeah. Jury also strikes me as the type who would literally just walk and kick you in the shins because you like were in the way. Yeah. See? No, no rhyme or reason. Just shin kick. Pop. The jury is going on the offensive, but Honda says not today. Ooh, Ooh jumps the command throw, not falling for it. The jury going on the offensive. We might see a level three. I'm not sure it's going to build enough. Oh, it, it does. does. It does build enough. This is going to kill. And this is going to be an end to the big man. We are going into game two with Chump Slayer up one to zero. They both composed. They both been in a situation before. These two are constantly fighting it out at this point in the tournament. No matter, they're no used no to matter. seeing each other. No, yeah, no matter if it's online, yeah. offline, or in tournaments, they're everywhere with each other. Yep, near, far, wherever they are. Yep. Do you feel like, you feel like when they play tournament tournaments, do you think they just, do they, their brains just think it's just casuals at this point? At this point, probably. It happens often enough. I mean, this is just another day at the Thursday office. Yeah. The only question is, which one's getting paid today? <laughs> Ooh, a good reaction to the, to the upcoming butt slam. But another good reaction by Tree Wiz. Ooh, another butt slam. I thought he was going to go for three. I, I was hoping I, it was three. And Ooh. then a pinwheel. The pinwheel to prevent him from getting punished. Praising the sun. Praising the sun. The, the long the range. The long range. Dull score. Oh, he's like, even Truus is like, whoa. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I kept headbutting it. It kept working. So that's the range it goes. Oh, oh, the pinwheel gets punished. Once again, we're seeing the pinwheel go flying off into nowhere. Oh, good reaction. Good. Level two. That's level two. And we're going to see some fast work from Jury. Yep, Jeez. here we gonna go. The hits keep on coming. One hit, two hit, three hit, four. And then a pin. Five wheel. hit, six hit, oh. you hit floor. Oh, man. Ooh, no room to relentless, breathe. Relentless, relentless. Oh, missed times to counter for the butt slam. Now Churi's in the corner, burned out in a bad situation. He's gonna get, he's gonna get chipped out, he's gonna get chipped a bit. Not too yep. bad. Got a lot, got a lot of gonna help. keep clapping. Oh, oh the, the double dip, dip sumo slammer. And then another plus on the chip him out. He Going gets for the chip. Out. The chip damage. <laughs> Even Drew was like, hey, that worked. He's like, oh. He's <laughs> like, hey, it actually worked. He's like, all those chips, but he just, and he double dipped. See, all, all those chips and finishes with the dip. Drew <laughs> <laughs> reaction, yes, this is what we're here for. This is the premium content we sign up for. Not these impersonations. We want to see Tree Wiz make faces. And look into our souls. 
Oh. Both of the faces. Good reaction by Chump Slayer. Here he was go. fighting his way out. He said, okay, you burned out. Now we get, now get to clap my hands. Round of applause. Here we go, baby. Little Doskoy. Drive rushing in. Trying to get Jury. Oh. Reaction oh. from Jury. Level one. Good use of level one. Gets him out of burnout, too. Ooh, the whip <laughs> grab. And that that's was going to do it for this yep. round. Checking all the boxes. Going to keep on hitting them. Checks the Dol Soy with the jumping back kick. Oh. Dol Soy. No low fireballs for you. You're going to get the Dol Soy. Ooh. Punish counter on that throw. That's going to be level two. And that hit first. This is going to be some damage. Some damage. Some DI damage. More damage. Just wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Yep. Oh. Not quite dead yet. Oh. Just a little. Staying alive. We're fighting with Puff the Magic Pixel here. Oh. oh there it goes. Praise yeah. the, you praise the sun. I poke you in the belly button. Yeah. Yeah. There you got poked. Popped balloon, as they say. Yep. Left him deflated. <laughs> The Trivus comes out swinging. Like we said before, Trivus loses a set and he just comes out like he took it personally. And Chumps are reacting to it, but to Trivus' onslaught. Ooh, little kick. Ooh, perfect the parry. The perfect parry. The, the spin to win. The throw. The big meaty palms. Ooh, the parries and the reaction. But doesn't do anything for Chumps as he's still put into the corner. Another, Another perfect parry. A pinwheel. The parries. Oh, my God. The parries and pinwheels. You know, parries and pinwheels would actually make a pretty good band name. Yeah. Parry and the pinwheels. Ooh. Level two and missed and dodged the DI. Hey, it works. But it ain't broke. <laughs> yeah, right. Here we go. Tongue Slayer on set point. But Trivas is not going down easy. Trivas doesn't want to have to run this back. He wants to be on the winner's side going into this. But to do that, he's got to win the next two. That's the check. That's the hit. That's the up. That's the down. Oh, good reaction. So we're playing save against some space. Drive rush. Ooh. Oh, gets a him with nice, the pinwheel. A nice drive rush, a pinwheel. Boom. Oh, oh nice, actually checks nice the overhead. Check. Turns it around, and that's going to oh, be the yeah, round. Man. That's going to be the set. Oh, wait, never mind. I thought it was level three. I was looking at the wrong gauge. I got ahead of myself. I am so sorry. Oh. I got ahead wow. of myself, but I still had the correct answer. Yeah, I was saying, <laughs> if you would have hit that, that would have been the jinx. Would have been the jinx on that, that one. That would have been the jinx, and I would have had to uh, get some help getting back to my car later. <laughs> <laughs> They'd have come after me for that. Oh, man. That would have been, yeah, that indeed would have been the uh, commentary jinx, which you never want to be the guy to do that. It's not fun. But it's not if you haven't done it before. We, I've, I've we do it all the time. Yeah. We, we, inevitably, when, you, when you're up here commentating, eventually you will accidentally jinx someone. You will feel terrible. And you'll you know you be looking over your shoulder for the next week. Yeah, and you feel like you're gonna get, you're gonna get called out in like Discord or anything like that. And it's just yeah, you have feel you feel like you have a target on your back, right? Yeah, you, you know the next time they come out in term, they're like, hey, remember that time you jinxed me? Yeah, jinx this. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, they uh they play the old scissors tactic. Scissors tactic. Yeah, when they go to plug in, they snip your cable. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, that would suck. That would suck. That's the one way to beat someone's playing as solid as, a solid as a rock when they play. Bring out the scissors. The one time scissors beats rock. <laughs> Jeez. Don't actually do that, kids. You will get banned from tournaments. Yes, you will. You'll get banned from tournaments very quickly. And, you, and, and you I will, will lose I, friends. I, I will not be on your side on this. Yeah, it's a fast, yeah, it is a fast way to lose friends. Plus, around here, everyone has extra cables. So, so like, like... No point of doing it. Yeah, no... It's like, ah, oh, snip the cable. I got a spare. Snip that one, too. You have to go through a lot of cables. But at some point, someone will take the scissors away from you. Yeah. You will lose the scissors before people run out of cables. And now we get snacks versus soda can.
both but trying to prove they have enough shelf life to continue on. Yeah, the perfect duo, Snacks and Sona. I know, right? The perfect duo. But unfortunately, at, uh, at this at this gas station truck stop, you can only pick one. You yep. can either get snacks or you get soda. Yep. One's and and one's gonna go flat. One's gonna go stale. Let's see which one has the longer shelf life. Let's see. And see how long you keep up with these food puns. <laughs> snacks off oh, the start, but gets very, caught. That's a very healthy reaction. Boom, boom, boom. Spiral arrow put in work. Checks him again. Nice, nice. Cannon spike. Oh, good parry. Ooh, Ooh the, the shimmy. shimmy. Oh, you see that shimmy and it just, oh, it's too late. Shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yay. Oh, the, the anti-air. No, you don't get the jump here. I got the reactions you for you. You don't want to test Snacks when you jump. He'll, he will react. Man, Snacks is going on a war path. He does not. He's trying to prove once and for all that the snacks have a longer shelf life than the soda. Yep. Oh, there we go. Great dead the storm. The reaction to get out of that. That was a great wake up. Sitting in the storm, but the storm has passed. Cami has weathered the storm. But a new storm is brewing. Soda can on the offensive. Defense. Oh. The throw. The oh no. Does look like Soda Can is dialed in there. We did see a lot of those spins go go anywhere except at the opponent earlier. Yeah. It seems like he's locked it in. Yeah, two for two. Yeah. Nailing him so far, oh, but that's a level three. Oh. Baited. Nice. You got you baited, Jabroni. Oh man. Max is in the corner. He's not doing so hot right now. He's in burnout. He's trying to get out, but Soda's keeping him in. Soda's feeling the he, fizz. He is feeling it, and he is keeping Snacks in the corner for the perfect KO. With a perfect KO, he is not shook up, yeah. and he's leaving Snacks so, a little shook up yeah. after that one. Soda's being in business right now, man. Oh, I just, I was mentioning earlier, he's been getting good at not having those go all elsewhere, yeah. but that time he gets punished for it. Yep. Ooh, that was a brutal kick. Oh, the perfect parry. So many mix-ups, so little time. Ooh. It was with a clock a second ago, jeez. Ooh. Oh man, great hurt grab. But burnout, and that's gonna hurt. And that's, oh. I was about to say, are we gonna see the Greater Storm? No, he's gonna save it. Gonna chip Doesn't need it just now, just gonna chip. Oh, oh he's gonna say, yeah, I, stand, I stand corrected. He says, no, we're gonna use Storm. We're, we're chipping him out with the Storm. It's like, I'll get another, I'll get another one next round. <laughs> oh, <laughs> even, even the audience he's is like, why? He's just like, I don't know. Oh, the spinning mixer. Thing makes goes nowhere, it goes the wrong direction, gets him that time though. So this is why Soda Cam was not worried. He's already almost gotten their level two. All you gotta worry about is that Cammy level three coming out. Quicksilver gives it a B plus level two. B plus level two, oh jeez. I don't even want to know what your idea of an A plus level two is then. If you're saying that's a B plus, the only thing I think that would be A would probably be like Ed's level two. Yeah. Because the damage in the corner of the carry that gives you. Now they're both in burnout. One has a level three, the other one has nothing. Lay on the, but a little bit of spins. On really one hit each, one hit each. Yeah, I mean, has a little has a critical, but I don't think I don't think Sanch wants to use it just now. Wants to wait. Now this isn't this isn't where you want to use it. You want to try to finish this round out, but Oh, good reaction. Oh, uh, they're <laughs> the sad part is he can't really DI. I'm not sure yeah. which one would win that. Oh, oh. Gotta watch for the throw, oh, and there, there it is. is. Oh, there it is. Yep. Sneaks that throw in there. Oh. Both trying to fight for position. Both of them like, nah, I wanna be on this side, not that side. Oh, 
Oh, good reaction. And There's three. the level three. We're spending it. We're getting the gauge back. Boom! Now that's a lot Not of damage. <laughs> and there's the Rashid kick. I just said we don't see Soda Cam burn these very often. He says, nah, but this time we need the Rashid kick. Yep. And there we go. Oh, the Rashid kick is not going to be enough. Snacks is on the board. There we go. Let's see, it's West. 1 1 now. Yeah, it is. Nice check by Cammy. Ooh, the parry. Trying Good to spin to win, but gets thrown. Ooh. Jockey for position. Neither one of them wants to get caught in these long combos. Both have so many ways to mix you up. Neither one wants to get caught in the other end of it. And can't yeah, perfect, perfect KO for Snacks. Snacks is getting dialed in. Oh, I think Snacks is getting hungry. Yeah, he he's, hu he's hungry for the he's hungry for the next round. He's yeah. hungry for the next game. He wants to move on. Ooh. Good timing. So many good oh, answers. Yep. The wake up. Jeez, the storm. He didn't even use level two, but there was a storm brewing that time. Yeah, there was. Oh. That's oh, the can spike gets out. It. That's a good way to dodge that. Probably didn't mean to intentionally dodge that like that, but hey, we'll take it. But we take those. The stun. Is he going to use a level two? Is he going to hold it? I think he's going to use a level two. Oh, no. He might actually might hold it for level three. Never mind. He's gonna I don't know. Will he use level three? I don't think we've seen him use level three today. You know what? Or is he, I think he's going to say, nah, I got this. Yeah, I think I'm going to be wrong on this one. He's not going to use either one. No. He doesn't use either one. He's probably going to start with level two, though, because he can get another level two before the round's over. Yeah. Called it. Yeah, there we go. Someone pick oh. up the phone because I called it. And the level three. But the level three answers. Okay. I call the level two, the answer's the level three. This is shenanigans, and this is how it's going. Oh, nice wake up. Oh, good read, good check. Parries, oh, the wall jump. Good icebreaker. Nice cannon spike. Man, Soda Cannon's playing off his back foot the entire round. Ever since his level two guy answered with level three. And Snacks is gonna put seal the deal and seal in that freshness to go into game, go into game four. That was a great reaction to that to the level two. It might as well go into level three. You gotta avoid it somehow. I will say that is not what I expected. I expected the level two. I've seen this soda cannon fight enough times to know if he's got three bars going into the final round, he's gonna burn level two early. With the expectation is gonna get another level two before the round's over. But I did not expect level three coming out. But that was a beautiful answer. Season the chance. Oh, good answer there. Oh, good. Nice fireball. Oh, nice. Good grab. Both of them are one good combo away. And then there right it is. Right as I say, one good combo away. One gets the one good combo and puts it away. And that's Snacks for you. Snacks is on set point. Soda Can has to prove that he is not falling flat if he wants to stay in this tournament. Nice parry. Another level two. We summon the Great Desert Storm. So it doesn't really do much with it this no. time. Snacks took no damage. No damage, still has pretty good super mirror all in all. Not a very good Desert Storm. That wasn't really like the Great Desert Storm, that was more like the uh, Light Desert Breeze. Yeah. Oh, nice icebreaker. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. No level three yet. Goes for the switch, goes low. That's a perfect parry. Very Not gonna nice. see level three here, but this is gonna be some damage. Ooh, one good, one more good combo should see the level three finish. Nice. And Did I predict it again? Nope, not quite. Nope. And well, I was doing good on predictions. No, yeah, no, Desert, Desert Storm. storm. Oh, excellent reaction. answer. Ooh, the parry and icebreaker. I'm waiting for the level oh. three. Are we going to see level three? No, nope, not. does not need it. <laughs> he seals in that freshness. The soda has run flat, and the soda has been run out of the tournament. Yep. Whoo!
You don't see Cammies do that all the time. That you don't see Cammies play like that. That was that was actually nuts. Here we go. True is coming back. Yep, Tree was making his way back to the stage. <laughs> and these two fought earlier. The reason yeah. Snacks is in loser side is because they faced Tree Wiz in the winner's semifinals. So now we get a run back here. And the winner will face Trump Slayer. Tree Wiz, I know, is going to be wanting that run back. Snacks is hoping for a shot because he has not had a shot at Trump Slayer yet. And we will see. Are we gonna, like I said, are we going to see a classic tonight, or are we going to see... I'm not sure to call it a classic. Snacks, I mean, I know Snacks came out a while back in the beginning, but he hasn't come out for a while, so it's like... Oh, yeah, well, so I was talking about for a true as a Trump Slayer. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay, my bad. I'm, I'm focusing on the here and now. Because then for Snacks, it would be like, what, like a new era in a sense? But like, he's like, he's, he's, he's like a new era of what I've seen. Yeah. Because I know you say he's been, he's been doing this for a while. Yeah, he's no, he was around originally at the beginning before even I came here. Okay. So he's even before me. Great, I, I was late to party too. Hey. I'll move, move writing this down. <laughs> Write that down. Write that down. And yeah, take take notes. I mean, these guys play nuts. Take all the notes you can. Because that's just going to make you a better player. Take notes wherever you can get them. Write that down. Write that down. Now we are on the best map. I am biased, but we are on the best stage to play on. Bather's Beach. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I forgot you are a little biased on that one. I, I will admit my bias. I don't care. <laughs> there we go. Round of applause. Good parry. Perfect parry. And Snacks wants that run. Snacks wants to take this run back. He wants redemption. He wants to get those soy. <laughs> oh, another perfect parry. Another perfect parry. How many is that going to be? Good grab. Yeah, Snacks is locked in. That's two. Are we going to see three? Three, three. No, we don't. Pick number three, oh, my lord. Do I hear four? Oh, oh we tried for four, but got backdashed. The butt slam. Oh, nice, re nice reaction to get out of that. Really good oh, no. You can't throw those headbutts out here. That Snacks a, says that nah. That was a slow headbutt. He was going for the, he's going for the short headbutt, but uh. the short headbutt is still very vulnerable to those moves. Nice dodge. Oof, the chop. The chop suey, the palms. <laughs> the sun. Oh. Both level three now. Oh. Good jump. Get out of the corner. The parries. Some people like beaches more than others. Yes, that is very true. The reaction. They fight. They 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 respecting this. They neither one of them wants to take make that first move, make that first mistake. Nice. At least the end of the round. Oh, why they park cars in the sand? That's the sound system. That's where the sound system hooked up. Yeah. See all the speakers hooked on the back. There you go. It's one piece. Here we go. Boom. The overhead. The hits keep on coming. The perfect, the perfect parry. parry. Get out of it and give him a little, little combo of his own. Oh, but he drops it. Ooh, missed the bus slam. A little too short. Gets in, gets in, puts the damage on. We're going to see the level three. We're going to put it away. Snacks takes game one. He wants the run back. <coughs> Don't get too excited. from Tree Wiz. Here we go. That's, that round of applause is doing more than that. He's, he's taking Kemi around the world right now from map. Each map ends. 
and this he's is like, he is he is a world warrior and he is taking around the world. Yep, and he just give everyone big bear hug. He said, "Thanks for going on a trip." He's saying thanks for the memories. Thanks for, thanks for the memories. Yeah, he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to fall out, boy. He's not going to send himself to an all time low. No, he's he is not. trying to prove that we the kings. Sorry, I'm running out of I'm running out of band references. <laughs> Oh man, Bless Lamb, like he's bowling for soup. Yeah, he's got a simple plan, and it involves these big meaty palms and the Ring of Fire. Saying the Ring of Fire like it's 1985. I'm trying to think of songs from it now. <laughs> now, now we're on a roll, see how many music references can we throw in here. Let's go. Let's go, let's, let's, see, if, let's see if Snacks can take Tree Wiz higher. Let's see which of these Backstreet Boys is truly in sync. Cruz <laughs> <laughs> uh, has been playing hot like he's 90 degrees. Now he's playing hot, but you can tell he is cold as ice. Vanilla ice, you may say. <laughs> We're across the musical streams here. <laughs> Praise in the sun with cameras and burnout, playing a safe with the spacing. Ooh, the butt slam, get a little bit of chip in with the level one. Level one gets almost puts him in burnout again, but Ooh, that but butt, the slam, butt slam, the hits keep on coming. Ooh, the jump away. Yes, you gotta fight for your right, right to party. party. Oh, we got the Beastie Boys in here too. And Honda's feeling a little beastie after that one. He takes the round one. There we go, we are. Here we go. Good grab. Yeah, Cammy's starting that 50-50, putting Honda on the highway to hell. Ooh. Let's hit one, hit two. Hit three, four. Praising the sun. He's walking on the sun today. Yep. He's walking on the sunshine. Oh, yeah. Now we're mixing the streams. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Dang, Trewis has a reputation of being one of the best in Guildhouse, but Snacks is saying, I don't give a damn about your reputation. Cammy, Cammy has just gave Trewis a cheeseburger in paradise. Oh. Dang, throwing the mix ups in there, making him guess. The back bit. dash gets it out. Putting out the. Ooh, the oh, dip. the dunk. Oh, there's a dunk. Not even no, double dip, just a dunk. Ooh, round of applause. Ooh, the Ooh, whiff. The whiff, the punish, the hit, the palms, the ring oh. of fire. Woohoo! Oh, it hurts so good. There you go. I feel like Trius had to win that sad. We kind of just said Ring of Fire like that, huh? Yeah, I kind of. We <laughs> announced her hype. Yeah. Punishes the blueberry. Ooh. But that blueberry punishes back. Ooh, the whiff. Drops the punish. Ooh. Another, another Going for parry. the perfect parry, but gets smacked into the corner for it. Another grab. We see two. No. Oh, we, we do see, see two. We do see two, but not the material you're expecting. Yeah, we see another and now we get the dunk. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Caught pushing buttons. Back in the corner with you. The overhead. Gets the overhead. And That's going to do it. Do the round. Another dunks yeah. on him. Boom, boom. Has a level three. Smacks him again, has Ooh. a level three. That's gonna, oh, that's gonna do it. No way it doesn't do it. He ain't gonna drop this. Perfect KOs it. He's standing on business. Doesn't even need the level three. Does not, he's standing on business, he's ready to go. Tree Wiz wants this. He wants to go to finals. 
Oh yeah, Trios wants that run back. He wants the run back. He, he's not going to let Chumpslayer get away with winning the insets. He wants a run back. Snacks is level 3 too. Ooh. Oh. No, he's not letting him breathe. Clapped. He's clapped. Ooh. Snacks fighting for his life. He needs to win this Ooh, here. Nice can spike. Oh, the parry. Oh, the low. Oh, the good block. Damn, he's got to be careful. Nose are close to burnout. Nose so close to burnout. Can't and afford we, to give space to a headbutt chip so much. And he's on the defensive. He has to be. But he's going a little bit of offensive. He's got the level one. Meter. Oh. oh, gets the switch. Trying to put as much pressure grab? as can. Yeah, we can see a grab. Is this where things get antsy? Because you know one good oh, hit is all it's going to take. Grab. Can we see another one? Oh. oh, There it is. You yeah. knew it was coming. Oh, oh my goodness. Level oh, three. that was level three. That hits. Yeah, that hits. That hits. Snacks is staying alive. Boom! Executes. Oh man! Puts a little emphasis on that survival game. Yep. That was good. That was amazing. All right, here we go. Oh, good parry for overhead, but misses the grab. Drops the punish. Ooh! Just keeps hitting. Just like I'm gonna keep smacking you. The Beanies will continue until Roar Owl improves, but the big meaty palms are coming out in force in response. Yes, they are. Here we go. Chilis is already in burnout, but he's on the offensive. He don't care if he's He in don't burnout. care. He's going to dunk you anyway. Oh, here we go. Camera reacting. Smoogle, you were right. This is a good Whoa. set. This is fun to watch. This is, this is Street Fighter. Then the, then the stun. Here we go. Boom. We're going to see a good combo from Snacks right now. And this is going to most likely, yep, it's going to end yep. the round. With a little uh, knee adjustment at the very end. Yep. That, that thing hurts me so bad. Because that is the injury you never come back from. Knee yeah. injuries never truly come back. Yep. But shocks me, because somehow, despite trying, I still have good knees. Yeah. Oh, interrupts the slam. You can't lift the leg around here. Checks that. You can't do fake headbutts around here. Take that fake headbutt out of here. You gotta get a full send if you want to hit those, those to hit. Another can spike. spike. He's got the rhythm. And the He's feeling the it. And does. He might he, actually win this. He, he just does. He just knocked out Tree Wiz. We got so into the hype, but Tree Wiz has been eliminated. He's taking third place tonight. Instead, we are going to see Snacks and taking on Chump Slayer. And where is he at? There he is. Chump Slayer making his way to the stage. He says, I still get player one side. I'm the champion here. I'm the one on winner's side. Here we go. Oh, yeah. This is where the fun begins. This is where the fun begins. Star Wars reference. <laughs> And then going, going back to this whole thing with Coach Kumo, Kumo yes, I also like Chump's shirt. It is nice. Wait, hold up. Is this the same Coach Kumo that plays Dalsim? Because I think he was one of the guys stopping from getting Masters back when I was trying to go through it. <laughs> really? Yeah, I ran, I ran, I'm pretty sure I ran to a Master Rank Dalsim. I'm pretty sure it was Coach Kumo when I was trying to go to Masters DJ. He was one of my gatekeepers. That just knocked me back down. Oh, dang. Very punishing. Here we go. Grand Finals, y'all. It is a small world of Street Fighter. It is. That can spike is putting in work, has not been missing. Nice crush. Here we go. I think we're all voting the MVP of tonight is Trump Slayer's shirt. Yeah. Nice can spike. That can spike's putting in work, honestly. Nice walk up jab. You call it a walk up jab. That looked more like a walk up throat punch, just Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> you gotta respect how quick Jury can just come in on you. Like, hello, I'm here. Punch board! Hmm. Oh, good. Spanish good Inquisition, hit. I wasn't expecting you. No one expects a Spanish Inquisition. 
References, people. References. Let's go. Oh. Speaking of references, Cameo is referring Jury to the corner. The jury is returning the reference. By, you would say, requesting an interview with uh, Jury's feet to Cammy. You would, would suggest that, no? Uh, jury is scheduling a very personal introduction to the ground for Cammy, oh. but Cammy is returning the introduction herself. Yes, you can. You learn a lot from Coach Kumo. I learned how much, how, too. how terrible it is to fight Tulsim. And that's. That's the first. That's the first round. That's the first set. Cammy, there we go. Number two. <laughs> Ooh. We've seen that a lot from Snacks. Like, get, gets a couple jabs in, gets the, and goes to the dry rush to try to get another good combo. That's, I feel like that's been a staple tonight for Snacks. Oh, for sure. But oh. hey, whatever he's doing Ice is working. Breaker. I mean, he's on a three win streak right now. Yeah. Ooh, perfect parry. Great reaction by Tump Slayer. Here we go. And one grab. Throw. We're going to see another one. No, we are not. Nope, and we will react. see Snacks burn out. And it's one Ooh. thing to burn out against a Honda. It's another, a whole other story to burn out against a Jury. Yeah. Jury has so much more pressure on that. The low jabs into the spiral arrow, into the grab, into the punch. <laughs> into this walk up, does it think? Right. I'm going to bop you right in the nose. I'm going to bop you right in the nose. Oh, the exchange. Oh, the whiff. Here we go. Pinwheel. Into the dry rush, both with level three now. Ooh, spiral arrow. I mean, can spike. Jeez, mix up names. The jabs. The going knuckles. in, going in. Are we going to see the level three? Yeah, yes, of course we, we are. are. We're going to catch out. We're going to put some emphasis on this second victory, and Snacks is coming out in commanding fashion. He wants the run back. He wants the reset. He, he wants the whole enchilada. Dang, I'm hungry. Yeah, now I'm hungry too. Oh, like if you're skipping dinner. Yikes. Oh. This is the hardest thing is when you're going for a reset, not only do you have to win three games to stay alive, you yeah. gotta win another three games and hope your other person doesn't adjust in that yeah. time. It makes yeah. it nuts. It's, it's, it's insane trying to go through it. Yeah. Someday I'll go through it. Same here. I've, never made, that, I've never made it that far. We'll go through it someday. Eventually. When Tree nice was when Tree was retires. <laughs> so so never? He'll eventually get bored. He'll just, yep. switch, he'll just switch up Honda. No, I mean when Street Fighter 7 comes out, he might move on. Maybe. <laughs> Ooh, the pinwheel misses. The pinwheel gets punished. And Snack is on set point to take this back to a reset. Yep, there we go. Let's see how we react. Chum Slayer was laying on a little bit of pressure last round, but it didn't seem to fall through as Snacks did take the round. Oh, Ooh, the uh, can spike, a rare miss, and it's gonna get punished. Level one. Just put Boom! The, put into the corner. Ooh, Chum Oh, another one. Another? We're starting to see a miss. I think Chum Slayer is starting to get the download. Yeah, maybe. And then we're gonna see. He's back in the corner. Now Jeez, in burnout. So much. Just smack, smack, smack. One, two, one, two. And a grab. And the throw. Do we see another one? Oh, the can oh, spike. Catches the toes. Not on the toes. The precious modeling career. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the grab. And the grab. Yep. Chump Slayer is showing some life. He's not giving up just yet. He doesn't want the run back. He wants to take it now. He wants to call an early night. Yep. Ooh, good punch. Nice wait. That was good patience for that. There we go. And Burnout, but does not care. Hits the level That's three. That's level three. That's going to do it. We're getting the reset. We are running it back. Snack says, oh, no, I'm taking the money. I want the enchilada. Trump Slayer, he knows what's next. He knows he's got three more games. There we go. He's got to try to fight through. Change the map, change the characters? No, we're not. I think they realize Coach Kubo's in checks. So we're going to the Dulcimer Temple now. Yeah. There we go, y'all. We have a reset, y'all. Here we go. Round 
I can't spike. Putting in work again. Gets the hit. Gets the hits. Hits keep on coming. Oh, pinwheels out of the mix-up. Good reaction to the pinwheel. From what? Does it, I was going to be into the overhead from Cami. Great reaction. Good grab. The throw. Here we go. The overhead. overhead. The smack. Win. The hits keep on coming. Ooh. That was dangerous. It was. Oh, oh. whips the pinwheel. Loses the pressure. And is now and in the corner on the back foot. But only needs oh. one more hit to pull it out. Drive reaction. And Cammy's not going to give you that one hit. You're going to have to earn it. And one hit apiece. It'll Checks the, the throw. icebreaker. Oh. oh, gets him with the long reaching kick. The long kick. That was. That was a Woo. good play. Oh, here we go. Wake up, overdri wake up overdrive. Almost in burnout already, though. Oh, Ooh, misses. misses. One. But the level one does get you out of the corner. It does. And it puts, it puts Jury in the corner now, too, as you can see. But Jury reacts and goes straight into level three. You have not taken any chances. Chump Slayer wants this win, has, wants to start off his reset on the right yeah. foot. He, he needs to get the momentum swing on his side. And he's trying to do and it right he now. He will get he it. Does. Chump Slayer, the first win comes in the reset, game one. But hey, in results, that. all that matters. If he can win two more, that's all that matters. Doesn't yeah. matter if he lost the reset, all that matters is he wins the money. Exactly. All that matters is the gold at the end of the rainbow, no? That's true. Yeah, Moogle gonna make it rain tonight. One grab. Of course, in our, in our case, we're announcers, so the best we can do is make it hail. Yeah, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Ooh, another grab. Ooh, missed the whiff. Ooh, good counter hit. Great. Oh, good block. Great grab. They so go much it. pressure. Every time you think they're finally, oh, there's a release. No, it's not. It's a throw. Yep. Oh, overdrive. Catches them pushing a button. Ooh, Ooh that's going to be bad. That's going to be the round. Boom. Momentum was not on Chump's side for long, but here we go. Oh, catches the parry just as it comes off. Gets the pinwheel, gets him in the corner. Ooh, Whips the whip. throw, though. And the momentum swings. Oh. Both jogging for position. The one who moves first wins. I was, I was hoping for a throw. But we get the hits, the hits, the hits. That's going to be level three. has to be. Yep. That's a level three. That's going to put away game two in Snacks' favor. We are tied up one to one. Okay, good. I was I was gonna be very upset if that actually didn't kill, and I got I did all that lead up, and it just doesn't kill. It's like, oh no, <laughs> did I do that? Yeah. I was pretty sure, but like, there's always that one off chance. Yeah. Like last week, we couldn't guess right to save our lives. It yeah. Was, it was it was sad. I'm not sure if you watched the vod, but it was, uh, was me and Water me and Waterboy up here, and it was we had a lot of misses. Yeah, I was here last week. I was just some down down there, or just casual and everything. It was, just, it was good last week. It was good last week, but I haven't watched the vod yet. Oh, good grab. Oh, the can spike Oh, miss. that was, I don't see that very often. Oh, good luck. They're fighting for it, gets the check. This is going to be some damage. Level one. Goes up to level one. But can they finish it? Oh, dry rush is I think that. Yeah, okay. That will finish it. That'll do it. Because yeah, you hate to spend the level one and end up losing the round. But if you win it, then it's worth. Yeah. But now you have level one again already. And a spike. Oh, goes Ooh. to grab it, misses. Oh, the little jump. Goes for the throw. Yep. Well, we see another one. Three, three in the corner. Nope, he looks to the spin. Yep. Oh, the grab. <laughs> Gets him with a throw. Oh, the jab. The shimmy. The shimmy. That's two for Snacks. He needs one more to win off of the reset. There we go. He gave Trump Slayer one game and says, that's all you get. I'm taking the next three. Bates the pinwheel of doom. <laughs> Catches the drive impact with a throw, or the drive brush with a throw. Ooh, cuts with a grab, but here he goes out. Pinwheel. Ooh, another, another grab, but misses. Get a little grab happy. Oh, icebreaker. Oh. 
burnout. It's next to the cannon spike. Oh, there we go. And you gotta write that down, all these weird interactions. Write it down, write it down, take notes. The pinwheel misses! That's gonna be the round! And, yep. He had the advantage, but dropped the pinwheel, and that's gonna put snacks on set point. Right. This isn't just set point, this, this is, is tournament point. point. Here we go. Let's see. Checks it, checks it. Snacks, or Trump's still trying to prove he's still in the game. Getting a lot of good pressure. Ooh. With the throw, put more pressure. Baits it. Oh, into the drive rush. That's gonna be he's painful. Going, he's going for the perfect. And he gets it's it. the perfect. Chump Slayer is staying alive. He's taking it to round three, but he needs to win this. Oh. He does have the drive gauge, the uh, super meter advantage. He has three bars. Snacks only has one. They got two. There we go. Snacks is trying to put this away. He doesn't want to go to game five. He doesn't want to risk having it go away. Good grab. He wants to Level finish three. it now. Oh. That was dangerous. That was risky. Oh. That, that's going to do that's it. Gonna... That's going to be level three. He doesn't oh. even need the level three. He just checks out. This finishes the combo, checks it out, and checks himself into the winner's bracket. Snacks has won. He is your champion tonight. Two time. Two time. Oh, yeah. It was last week, too. Yeah. Two time. Yeah, he is your Guildhouse 143 champion, Snacks. He went. And he has proven that his shelf life does extend past the end of this tournament. Oh, yeah. He went back to back. Back to back. We're seeing a new age of dominance. Last, the last time we had the major time when there was this, just one person winning it all, it was all Julio. Then Julio kind of, Julio's kind of not coming back for a while. Tree Wiz was kind of the one taking it for a yeah. while. And now we got Snacks coming in. Now he's got back to back. Is he going to keep it going? How long will he keep it going for? Because that's always the tough part. Because once you've won once, now people have videos of you. They can see all of your little nuances to your play. So the better you do, the more data there is on you yep. for people to learn from. Exactly. And that's what makes it nuts. And that's what makes it so much fun. Especially for people like me who don't get on stream very often. So it's like, I got the details. You got, you got, you got film to watch. I got film to watch. I got homework to do. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Homework. Love that. Yep. But it's been a great time, of course. For those of you who don't have not come out yet or thinking about coming out, this is Guildhouse. We do highly recommend coming out. We have sets going every Thursday. Thursdays are when we have our tournaments. Even if you're just thinking about trying a tournament because, you know, I've never done it before, come out to Guildhouse. This is where I started. I'm not sure. Did you start here too? Is this your first tournament? I think, yeah. I started out here. Then I went to YouthNet, like being going back and forth. But I think really been starting yeah. here. We started here, and now you got us up in the booth announcing. You got us competing in tournaments. If you've ever considered trying a local tournament, Guildhouse is a fun place to go. Everyone here is super friendly. We'll get you involved. If you got questions, you need to know matchup knowledge, ask people to play a character. We'll all help you out. So again, if you're thinking about trying tournaments or you just want to get better at the game, come out to Guildhouse. You're gonna have a great time. Oh yeah. Like these guys everyone here, like they've been they've been really welcoming to me, like from Doki, Tree Wiz. Everybody's been very welcoming. No matter what you ask, they'll always answer. Like they actually, they're looking to expand the FGC. They, these guys love the community. These guys love these games, and they will do everything in their power to make sure that anyone who's new that comes in stays. Oh yeah, like I'm staying. Like that's I, why I'm still here. Exactly. I'm <laughs> like I'm. That's why I actually come back every week because these guys are so nice and like they're so welcoming, and I feel like I actually can actually make a difference in both like training myself to become better and also doing this oh yeah plus when you're up here you also learn a lot too because we get to we're actually an analyzing it as the games exactly. go on exactly right? and that forces you to think more because then you have to analyze because then you're actually analyzing as it's going so yeah. you think more about it but yeah i think we've said covered all the bases you have anything else you want to say only thing else i can think of is we've got two weeks until genesis black that's true we got two weeks until genesis black for those of you who are looking for a big tournament that's going to be one of the next big ones on the roster highly recommend coming out if you're in the area but other than that, I think that's we're going to sign off. So this is Doki Doki FTR and my partner in Crime Squabble Thor signing off. Until next time.